There you uh, have. Yeah. Yep. I, you know, so, I, I think they did an okay job with everything else. And you yeah. know, in terms of saying, you know, you know how they do that stupid fluoride treatment where they you know, yeah. put stuff on your teeth. And yeah. you know, I said, you know what, you know, nice say, I said, you know, I don't want to do that. And, and they were actually very accepting of that. Wow, but, that's <laughs> so that I think it's a little more common. Is there is it's the first thing I said is yeah, that's fine. You know, people are really starting to, you know, learn more about this stuff. <laughs> well, that's well, that's the thing, Cole. You said that the doctors, the 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 dentists, didn't even know where it came from, right? Right, right. They, so, they had no idea. And you, you, and we live. I don't really don't yeah, matter. Yeah, we're live. Yeah, perfect. Anyways, <laughs> go ahead and, and keep talking. <laughs> and um, you know, so they did a good job of everything else. And I was surprised that they said no, but said it was okay. But mm -hmm. with the questions I was asking, you know, they. They definitely like their fluoride, and you know they preach it like it's the best stuff that's ever existed. <laughs> you know, like how did in, uh, of course, yeah, they 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 push that stuff, and then well, of course I, all the stuff the they is, give you packed full of fluoride. Yeah, the thing is, Cole, I wonder if they take it themselves. I wonder they if they claim do. they do, but yeah, they they oh yeah, we take that stuff. It's good for you guys. You know, get brainwashed with all that uh, fluoride and that Prozac or whatever that type of uh, yeah, yeah. brain controlling crap that they put in there. I forget the name of it. Was it aspartame or is that in water? Yeah, aspartame is what's in like Diet Coke and stuff. Oh, Diet Coke. Okay, then I, I like forget. I forget what they put in. Yeah, some other some other uh, chemical that they put in uh, the water, the fluoride, to uh, make you go wonky. I guess <laughs> the best way I can describe it. There's a number of chemicals that are banned everywhere, but you know where we live. <laughs> oh, <laughs> so, North so, America. Wait, wait. But fluoride's not. Yeah, there's a lot of chemicals that are in like different, like over in England and over in other countries. There's a lot of chemicals that are not allowed to be put in food. But here in America, they're like wide open to all the chemicals and stuff. Yeah, go ahead. Flood oh, until I should mention yeah, uh, go ahead. that syrup article I did. Yes, yeah, so um, we're gonna talk about that. I don't know if you've seen, but did you see the part where I said I, I contacted Health Canada in an email? Oh, I did not. Which is basically yeah, our version, our version FDA. of the yeah FDA. Yeah. And the only part. response I got from them was they were forwarding my email to a different department for an actual response. Two weeks later, I still haven't seen that response. Yeah, that's, that's typical. That's typical. I mean, you probably wouldn't even hear from them if it was yeah. down here, you know. They just said, yeah. we're going to send it off to a different department. Two weeks later, I still haven't heard from them. So, wow, so it that shows their pri priorities. You know, you know, I'll read the email off to you. I guess I should have. Yeah, yeah. And, of course, I used my uh, news in general email, in just, general email just so they know. Just so they know, yeah. Um, uh, I hear I hear that they're getting ready to like ban or put like uh, uh, blocks on media and like news news organizations and stuff. Is that true or is that just like? Well, a I can imagine. So look what happened in uh, Nevada there with uh, you. Sure about that, Clive and Bundy? Oh God, all, that's all I've been hearing is Clive and Bundy. I, I'm yes, I'm so supportive of them. Great job. They took their freedoms back. They told. The uh the what is it BML what's up they they said get the hell out of here you know this is our land you know they didn't they didn't pay for this they didn't it's not in their family because that land was actually in their family you know it, it right. got you know passed on and and so forth but the government's trying to take it over the BML or whatever whatever BLM. I think, yeah B, BLM that's Bureau of Land Management yep they're trying to take it over and, and put all these uh what are, solar panels up and stuff and oh yeah for the Chinese yeah 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 oh yeah the the yeah. Get hand hand in what is it hand in glove or whatever he said Alex yeah. Jones. It, oh, and yeah. I was it was great that that happened. You know what it reminds reminds me of something that, that happened in Canada about a year ago in Ontario. Mm -hmm. This uh, old guy, right? Yeah. He had this farm or whatever. It's been in his family for many generations, given to him by some king. You know, back wow. in a long time, uh, way uh, way back, right? Yeah. And the, um, you know, the Canadian military decides we want to expand our military base, so we're taking your land now. And they literally did that, too. They offered him some money, first of all. He said no, so they just took his land anyways, put up a bunch of fences, and he actually had to get permission every time he wanted to enter and leave his own property. <laughs> That's frigged up, man. I'm sorry. Yeah, sir, I the the other same official stuff you'd see at a military base. They had gates and set up. They had some, so you know, guards and all, oh, you know, official government signs. Don't, know, let a, don't let Alex Jones hear about this now. <laughs> and he, he tried to fight it for a while, Yeah. but uh, unfortunately he just gave in, you know. He said, fine, take my land, you know, it's only been in the family for, you know, a couple hundred years. <laughs> yeah, of course. Go ahead and do what you want. Bugs come down. All right, so it looks like we got somebody in the in the uh, Google, the Q&A here. All it says is, Tudas. So here's my um, email that I, I wrote to them. Okay, go ahead and read it's off the... It's kind of a uh, quick, quick, quickly done thing, but anyways. <laughs> um, 
does Health Canada have any standards in place concerning four mil, which is the chemical and syrup and stuff that's giving us cancer? Apparently, it's commonly found in products such as pancakes, syrup, soft drinks, and various other food products. And various reports have found it to cause cancer in humans. And then I put a link to a Consumer Reports article. Um, does Health Canada regulate four mil in any way? Hang on a second. Yeah, go ahead. Hang on a second. That's right. Uh, so it looks like Cole has somebody calling him. I believe it's his father. Um, so yeah. Back. Oh, okay. Yep. Yeah. Uh, so while we wait, basically I'm going to go over the topics. That way you guys can get in here because I'm not sure how many viewers we got right now. Okay, we got two viewers. So the topics that we're going to be discussing as we wait for Cole is concealed and carry in the United States. Um, teacher fired after ordering six students to uh, beat another student. Now that is insane guys. I have a lot to say on that because I do have someone that's a contact of mine that is going through something with their schooling system. Um, as I said, gun control, uh, conceal and carry, the good versus the bad. Um, police shoot and kill a man for holding water hose nozzle and the family was awarded 6.5 million because they took him to, they took the, uh, the law enforcement I guess or the, the, the sheriff's department to, uh, to court and won. So that is good on their part, but yet they have a family member that is dead. Um, so we're going to be talking about that. That was a written by Cole Cooper. You can find all these articles on newsingeneral.com, all one word, newsingeneral.com. And I believe we're going to be taking a look at some more articles later on in the show if we do have time. Um, I am kind of, uh, i got a time limit here because I have some other things to take care of, um, a lot of editing to do and stuff like that. So I'm not going to go into that. Um, but some of the other topics we might dig into is uh, surgeon accused of slapping patients on the buttocks before surgery, which is completely ridiculous. Um, another article by Cole Cooper here on newsandjournal.com. According to a new report, pancake syrup contains a cancer-causing chemical. And yes, that is fact, guys. Um, we're going to be taking a look at that, hopefully. Um, and let's see if we got any more articles to take a look at. Uh, no, we don't. I believe there's no more articles that we're going to take a look at. Uh, how, how's it going, Cole? Good. Okay, I want to finish my email here. Yes, definitely. Go ahead. Uh, so where was I? All right. Does Health Canada regulate formal in any way? Does Health Canada have any regulations in place to limit the amount of... These are the questions I'm asking them. Yeah. Uh, amount of formal contained in food products, unlike the FDA in, Uni in the United States. Does Health Canada consider formal to be a human carcinogen like many others do? Are there any regulations in place that require companies to label their products if they contain formal or the caramel color that contains formal? Health yep. Canada does not have any regulations in place concerning formal and food products. Does Health Canada have any plans to put forth any new regulations concerning the chemical? Oh. Any details clarifying the questions above would be greatly appreciated. Yep. And the only response I got was a wonderful um, thank you for contacting Health Canada. Your recent inquiry has been redirected to the appropriate area for a response. Sincerely, Health Canada. And we will not respond to you for about two years. <laughs> yeah, that came in That's on April. And that email came in on April 7th. It's, uh, it, it's so April 18th today. April 18th, yeah. <laughs> wow. Uh, okay, it looks like we got some trolls in the Q&A. Ooh, I gotta uh, see this. That's some fun one. Yeah. Well, one, one way to get banned is by doing what you're doing, my friend. Uh, you're stupid. I guess you are, too. That, that's, that's a, that's a uh, good statement there. That's not a question. The Q&A app is a question <laughs> and answers at, uh, ability yeah. only. And, don't and, and by the way, if you want to make a statement, first of all, the, the Y in your should have been capitalized, yeah. and there should have been a period at the end of stupid. Okay. Oh, oh, wait, what's this? Stupidity. No, 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 no. There's, there's, another, there's th another question here. I believe it's Spanish. Uh, Estamos en la teria. Oh, I don't have that. I just got another one here. Stupid isn't spelt with 30 different U's, idiot. <laughs> oh, yeah, there you go. There you go, my friend. He's. I want to go ahead and ban his butt. Yeah. Yeah. Delete his question, too. Yeah, I, I think I did. Yeah. Nah, I did that too, just in case. Anyways, <laughs> double double spam and double ban. All right, so uh, what do you want to dig into? Let's dig oh, into. Let's uh, dig into your article. My article. All right. Yeah, you haven't haven't uh, got this. Do I got it up? Uh, yes, I do. All right. Gun control, conceal and carry: the good versus the bad. Now, I'm going to tell you a little personal story in this article as well. So bear with me. In my life, I have been in a position where a gun would have protected me and my family. However, if I did not have a gun and use it to defend me or my family, uh, oh wait, wait, I totally messed up that beginning. Uh, sorry about that. In my life, I have been in a position where a gun would have protected me and my family. However, if I did, 
have a gun. Wait, that doesn't make no sense, does it, Cole? Um, let me take a look there in front of the stop. Yeah, I, I believe I, I believe I screwed the beginning up on this. Uh, let me read it off. In yeah. my life, I have been in a position where a gun would have protected me and my family. However, if I did have a gun and used it to defend me or my family, okay. period, I, I skipped. Uh, I skipped. <laughs> I skipped. I skipped the. Uh, I skipped the sentence there. Okay, I most likely would be in jail right now. I admit I'm happy that people are speaking out about our rights to bear arms. I just wish they would have done it sooner. Many lives could have been saved. I do, however, have a good and bad experience with guns. The bad being a family member suicide by 12-gauge shotgun. However, that does not mean I am against guns just because of that bad experience. But that's what it seems is happening nowadays. When one bad thing happen, happens involving guns, then all guns, no matter the situation, are bad, even if it could save a life. I'd like to make it clear to you that I am not a violent person, as probably many people would, would, uh, would say on the internet. I am just a man who feels that if all men are equal, then nobody would be able to get the best of one another because they all have a fighting chance. When it comes to conceal and carry of a pistol, I am okay with that. In fact, I feel that carrying in the open would be a better idea because when another man sees another man that has the same capability that he does, he wouldn't try to challenge him on har or harm him because of the risk of being harmed just as bad or if not worse. Um, so basically what I mean there is, okay, I have a gun, Cole has a gun, you know, do, do you think I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't shoot you because I'd be afraid of missing you or I'd be afraid of you shooting me and, and killing me or, or hurting me worse than what I, what I hurt you basically is what I'm trying to say there. Yeah, what you're saying is the only one that would make that, would do that is an idiot. Yeah, exactly. And there, there's, well, sad to say, there is a lot of idiots out there in today's <laughs> world. Um, I already know what you are going to say about this idea, but this is just my opinion, like I said. Remember, I have seen both the good and bad of what guns are capable of. Most people today don't realize the true dangers and power of guns because they have never seen what a gun can do to a human body or animal in real life. It is pretty crazy to think that one small thing can be so devastating but that can be said for hundreds if not thousands of things. Remember, we live in a world that is full of dangers, some more dangerous than others. Here is one problem I like to address. A gun can't be fired unless a human fires it, or if it has a malfunction. In most cases, a gun that is being fired is under the control of a person. So in my opinion, when a person is shot by another person, it is not the gun that is doing the killing. It's the person who discharged the weapon. Can Look I ask at you? Look at it this way. When, when a batter at the plate of a baseball game swings his bat and hits a home run, who is responsible for that home run? The person swinging the bat, right? I mean, a bat can't... Well, no, it was a baseball bat. bat. Yeah, a bat can't hit a home run on itself, right? So that goes to say a gun can't shoot a person by itself either. Um, there are cases where carrying a weapon should not be allowed. For example, someone that has a mental disability or has a history of violence. I'm not saying that if you punch that bully in high school, you shouldn't be able to carry a weapon in the future. I am saying if you beat your wife or girlfriend or have a history of abuse and unnecessary violence, then that is when you shouldn't be allowed to carry a weapon. Someone that is candidate for a conceal and carry or even open carry is someone that is responsible, has no history of abuse or unnecessary continuous violence, does not suffer from mental or emotional disabilities, and finally, someone that is not afraid of handling a weapon. In some cases, a person that is afraid of handling a gun can be more dangerous than someone that is comfortable with handling a gun. But uh, finally, one big problem with gun control is that our government is in control of who gets to have a weapon and who doesn't. Sounds like a good strategy on the government's part, especially if said government is looking to enslave the citizens. So all in all, the more experience a person has with handling a gun, the safer we will be. I feel that today's laws against bearing arms should be looked over by someone that has experience in a situation when a gun was both a good and bad thing. Someone not in the government, however. I do know some cops that are pro-guns or pro-gun and would be best buds with an open carry civilian. Um, so I just go on to uh, you know end end the uh, end the paragraph. I end it with a uh, I am pro gun. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, what do you guys think about uh, conceal and carry? Honestly, I just d d explained my uh, my thoughts on that. What do you think, Cole? Well, conceal carry and open carry, I think, are great things. Well, what, uh, but would you would you rather have an open carry? Because would you feel more safer knowing this person has a gun, or would you be like you know afraid like most people are, like oh my god, he's got a gun? 
You know, no, it wouldn't, it wouldn't freak me out. You know, it wouldn't freak you out. It, it really, like, ooh, it, it, you know, everyone's, you know, terrified. You know, ooh, he's got a gun. You know, like even if he's on his own property. Yeah. <laughs> you read I these honestly, stories. I honestly think that we would be much safer if, if we had an open carry. It was able, everyone was able to care, open carry basically. Mm -hmm. You know. And, you know, because think too. about this. You you see a bunch of people having guns on their sides. You're not going to go and break into a store of fear that uh, one of the people in there shopping has a gun and they're going to freaking, you know... Oh, you look at what happened at that Dollar General there. The article yeah, wrote yeah, yeah, there. the article you wrote yeah, up. The guy walked in waving a gun and ordering yep. people around. Someone took it into their own hands, shot the guy. Yeah, he there died. you go. He but, did but, not see, but see, that, that, would that, that wouldn't tempt somebody... If we had an open carry laws where we can just open carry wherever, you know, we go into the store and, and say this robber, this guy who broke into Dollar General, he wouldn't want to go in there because he knows that the, there's people with open carry with a gun on their hip. Yeah, what if some of the staff members in the in the yeah, store had guns? That as well. That as well. Yeah. well How well, do you know it's one of those you know cashiers that you think's an idiot yeah. doesn't have a gun yeah. on him? Well, most of them do. <laughs> what I'm saying is regular civilians, though. You know. Oh, I know what you mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. everyone. For sure, you're walking down the street, someone wants to mug you. You see this yeah. motherfucker, you want to fuck with this? They're not going to do that because they know <laughs> that most civilians are going to have a gun on them because the open carry law is, is, like I said, open. You're allowed to carry wherever. <laughs> right. And, you know, you look at this, what you were saying there, you know, you're saying, you know, guns don't kill. Like, think about this. And I, um, If you've watched American Dad before, they actually kind of proved this. Which I yes, I have. I've watched it. You put the gun on the, on the kitchen counter. The brainwashing oh, show. Someone, right? It's brainwashing show. Yeah, yeah, but you know, funny enough though, he, he they proved guns don't kill people. Put the gun yeah. in the car. Kill someone, gun didn't do it. I, and okay. inanimate objects don't kill. You know, you, you no, look at exactly. knives. Someone someone stabs somebody. You yeah. blame the person, not the knife. Oh, exactly. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you, oh. beat, you beat someone to death with, with a baseball bat. Do you blame the baseball bat or the person behind the baseball exactly. bat? Uh, exactly. Someone someone per purposely runs over someone else. Do you blame the car? And when there's nothing wrong with the car, all, all and, cars are illegal now. All and, cars or, are illegal. or or the person driving it. What, what you know, a uh, drunk driver. Do you blame the beer or the, or the person that chose to drink the beer? You know, well, oh, they the beer won't, they won't the take car. away beer, cold. They won't take away their alcohol. The, the big. Oh no, they did it in the twenties. They can do it again. That's a lot of money for them. Well, yeah, I guess now, yeah. Yeah. You know, but then someone shoots someone, and then we blame the gun. What 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 the hell logic is there in that? The logic is is the, the government doesn't want the civilians and, to be And the interesting thing is, too, someone shoots someone. It's not if they're going to blame somebody. They don't blame one person. Yeah. They blame every single gun owner. Oh, in that's what I was saying. That's exactly what I was saying. Like, for me, instance, I had a bad experience. I, my stepdad uh, committed suicide with a 12-gauge shotgun. That was just one incident. He took that into his own hands. It wasn't the gun doing it. It was him. So I'm not gonna I'm not gonna say well I'm never gonna touch a gun I'm afraid of guns I don't want to be near guns that's not the case it's not the gun's fault it's the damn person behind the gun you know right it all comes down to decisions yeah and and, and and for okay I understand people are afraid of guns right mm -hmm. that that's probably because they don't respect the gun they they never fired a gun you know once you fire a gun and feel the power and feel what it is actually capable of you're gonna respect it and you're not gonna be afraid of it anymore because you know how to handle it basically. Um, and, and there's also a notion that you know, hey, female, uh, females are, are they can't shoot as well as as males can. That's because most males, there's more males that ha that are uh, that have guns than there are females. I looked mm -hmm. it up. I, I did a wiki search yeah. on that. Um, but that that's just because the females are afraid of it. If they were to handle a gun and get comfortable with it, they'd probably be better better uh, shooters than than you know we would be the men. The men. Or just as good. Yeah, that that's more more people armed, more females armed is good because look at how many get raped and look at how many get jumped and and mugged and all that. I mean, if someone tries to rape rape one of them and she pulls on a gun. Yeah. What are you gonna do then? You're gonna keep going, moron. Exactly. If you do, if you do <laughs> you're gonna get a bullet in you. You're gonna get a bullet in your ass, exactly. Um. So how do you, how do you feel about uh? What was it? What was I wanting to ask you? Why we went into this whole rant? Um. I was wanting to ask you something, and I'll ask the audience as well. Uh, damn it! I'm totally stumped now. <laughs> you got me going on a rant. Uh, okay. So, do you think do you think the government is um is that like trying to take away all the guns? Like, is there is there hard evidence of that? Like, well, it's always for the children, right? Yeah, you know, that's always the excuse. It's always for, oh, yeah. to, take, to take them away, right? Every time there's a shooting, 
Oh you know, my, the well, that's, the guns now. Yeah, yeah. Every yeah. time, every time there's a massacre or something, it's all every yeah. gun needs to be banned. Oh my god. But look at all the people that that do that you know do this that go in and break into these schools and, and kill all these poor children. Mm -hmm. The guy was mentally unstable in the first place. If the if the healthcare system, if the government would have done their job, they would have seen and already got the the signs of this guy being unstable and possibly uh, uh, doing a massacre or whatever in one of these right. schools. It, it's not the gun's fault. It's the person behind it, and it's also. You know the government's fault for not monitoring or not not paying attention to these signs because some of these cases the guy actually tried to get help didn't get help in time so he went and did this you know right it, as for proof of them you know desperately trying to mm -hmm. you, you look at it and you know if, if you were to take everyone's you know self defense away yep. you wouldn't be able to defend yourself against anyone or anything so if the government wanted to do something that's what they want that's what they want to you that's um, they want. you know take away your property yep. you know kill you type thing, you can't do anything about it. So, and in some states now, it's actually legal to shoot a police officer if they're breaking into your house for no reason. Well, that's the thing. There was a, there was this uh, case where this uh, police officer just went ahead and had no search warrant, had nothing of that nature, went into this guy's house, broke into this guy's house, and, and basically just, just arrested the guy for no reason, didn't tell him why he was being arrested. It was only one police officer that did this, so it's like, Okay, you break into my home with no search warrant, no reason for, for, for bringing me in. How do I know you're a real police officer? How do I know if you're one of these fake police officers? And, yeah. and what if I pull out my gun and shoot you? Am I justified by doing that without and you providing information on who you are and why you're here? You look at uh, what uh, we wrote about. I wrote about this a while back now, a few months ago. Yeah. But do you remember a story in which uh, some cop was trying to tase a uh, woman because she refused to uh, take off all her clothes? Yeah, yeah, I remember that. Place. Yep. Um, now, what if she had a gun? Do you think he'd be running around with his taser trying to get her dick off all her clothes? No, no, if he's seen the gun, he'd go straight for his and blast her all in a smithereens. Well, if she's quicker. Yeah, if she's quicker, that's the thing. Well, that's the thing. Nowadays, it seems like cops are more uh, happy uh, happy trigger or whatever. Oh, you call it. Look at that, uh, those, that 70, 71 year old uh, elderly woman and, that, um, and her daughter delivering newspapers. The cops shot at her. Shot them 103 times because Holy it was the hell. wrong color truck, the wrong make, and the wrong but it wasn't model. One, it wasn't one cop; it was a couple of cops. Eight of them. Yeah. Eight of them. Yeah. And like, still, though, it, let's see. If we divide, it's in a perfect world, it'd be even. So 103 yeah, divided by eight <laughs> works out to I says 12 shots for each of them. Yeah. According. Well, According of course, there's no such thing as 12.8. Yeah, 12.8. Oh, yeah, what, like a half a bullet hit her or something? <laughs> yeah, half a bullet fired out the chamber? Well, actually, in actuality, only two bullets hit her. Yeah. <laughs> uh, terrible shots. Okay, but... now, before we get into a, a big rant, because I was getting ready to, let me ask the audience, have you ever fired a weapon? If so, what weapon have you fired? Put in the comments. I have fired a 22, a shotgun, and a 410. And I plan on shooting mo many more. So, what about you, Cole? How, how many how many uh, guns have you fired in your? What do you your think? Life? Let's zero. start off with that. I I, I think zero. But I damn well am gonna do it one of these days. <laughs> if if you hey, that doesn't go without saying. If somebody broke into his house and he had a gun, he wouldn't pick it up and shoot him. You know. <laughs> exactly. But no, one of these days I'm damn well gonna no, do no, it. No, no, Cole. Cole would Cole would uh uh. Uh, headbutt him with his big mop of hair that he has oh, on no, his head. Oh, no, wait a minute. No, we need to do the uh, correct thing and call 911. Wait, like, you oh, know. Oh, yeah. Wait, wait, three hours. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yep. Oh, oh, or God, never for him to show the up. Cop, the cops get here. You, you're sitting on the dude's back. He's all tied up. And it's like, I did your job for you guys. All you got to do is take him yeah, away. Yeah. Take him to the station. He's got a couple bullet holes in him, but uh, you know he might need to yeah. sew them up. Yeah, stop about take, take, take him to the hospital first. They'll take, they'll take care of him. If yeah. he doesn't make it, ooh, oh, well. <laughs> but yeah, conceal and carry. I am definitely pro to. Um, oh yeah, no, we, we definitely uh, need that. I'm uh, you know, I'm gonna be going hunting with my dad. I'm gonna be doing YouTube videos about that this summer. So be sure to look out, look for that um, on my um, other YouTube channel. Um, but uh, yeah, let me know in the comments below. I'm really interested in knowing uh, if you guys, you know, do hunting. If you guys have a concealed carries uh, a CCW permit. Um, and there's also, I also want to touch into the subject that. There are many different laws in different states for uh, CCW. Um, you got open carry laws. You got uh, concealed and carry laws. Uh, open carry should be legal in all the states, honestly. In all the states, open carry should be legal because think about it. You're not trying to be sneaky and you're not trying to. Because if you had a concealed carry uh, permit, you have it under your coat. You could walk into a store and rob the place. 
But if you go, have it on your outside of your, your person or outside of your body and like on your hip and showing, you're going to walk in and people are already going to see that and they're going to know, you know. If you go into a bank with a concealed weapon, you know, they don't know that. But if you have it on your open, you know, open and, and noticeable, the, the, the security guard is going to see it right away. You know, everyone's going to know that, hey, he's got an open, open gun. But I'm just, I'm just so open to the idea of having open carry, no pun intended, uh, oh, yeah. open carry laws. Because no, I didn't realize it. It, really. it would be a much safer place. I mean, oh, yeah. everywhere, everywhere would be, it would be. And of course, you know, remember when Alex Jones was on Piers Morgan's show and he was saying that guns lower crime? Yep. And of course, Piers tried to shut him down, but oh, I think yeah. he's, he's, you know, he's Piers, right. They, they really do. They can really help. And I, I didn't realize this, but uh, I guess, I well, guess we actually can get a license in Canada to uh, conceal carry a yeah, uh, handgun. Can. I didn't realize we could yeah. in Canada. Um, let me get this straight, Cole. Yeah. I'm I'm talking about pro gun meaning pro uh, non fucking AK 47s you know non AR 15s you don't mm -hmm. need them you don't need a, that big of a gun to protect yourself you, you, don't, you, don't, you don't want people walking around with those on their backs yeah you don't need that you don't need that to protect yourself or to uh, to go hunting with like as my dad says right. um, we're gonna be, me and my dad are gonna do a separate video on this by the way just just in case if you guys are interested in that my dad's been a hunter for 30 40 years um, he's had guns all his life he knows there's a, ups and downs of, of guns and stuff like that and hunting as well so I'm gonna do like a interview and main hopefully put the, put it up on this channel here because uh, I think you guys be interested in, in uh, hearing from my from a, a veterans experience I guess you could say um, sorry dad <laughs> he, he kind of uh, gets upset when I mention his uh, age but uh, yeah definitely pro pro gun um, pro open carry, not pro AK-47 strapped on your back because, let's face it, guys, it only takes, what, two to three bullets to take down a person? You don't need to have a, a, a 30 round magazine in your damn gun to, to self-defend or, you know, defend yourself. However, that is only, the reason why we have that open today is because, look at the police. The police are carrying all these big-ass weapons, you know, AK-47s uh, or AR-15s or uh, M6, M, M16s. and For your safety. Uh, yeah, yeah. The reason why we want to have these big ass guns is because what happens when the when the government and the police try to take over? They're going to have more firepower than we are, which they some of them already do, um, because the government's starting to become more yeah, militarized. Big thing, so they, yeah, they they're, well, they're starting to become militarized now. So that's why civilians want to have these big ass powerful <laughs> guns is because they're afraid of the government taking over, and frankly, they're capable of it now. Uh, they're just waiting for whatever the hell they're waiting for. I don't know. Um, mm -hmm. But honestly, I think I think open carry is good. But so what I was on. what I was saying here, I didn't. Re oh, yeah. uh, I do want to finish this. Yeah, yeah but, go ahead. Uh, so I, I guess uh, most people don't realize, including myself, till about now. But I guess <laughs> you actually can get a, a license to uh, carry a, a handgun in Canada, which well, I didn't realize you could. And they only uh, issue the age, about, what's the age? What's the age limit? Uh, it's, not, it's actually finding information on this is a pain in the ass too. <laughs> oh well, they, yeah, they they hide that information, Cole. They yeah, the, the government's got a big, a long, complicated piece of yeah, law. Yeah, well, that's the thing. They try to make it all complicated and shit, so you just say, "Oh, fuck it, I'm not doing well, it." It says here, it's from the CBC, um, that they only issue like eight thousand of these per year. Wow. Uh, so I guess not uh, very CB, many people. Uh, for the audience, what does CBC stand for? The Canadian Broadcasting Corporation. And in case you didn't realize it, it's owned by the Canadian government. <laughs> <laughs> uh, corporations at its yeah, best. It, it is a crown corporation. Yeah. Um, but um, the queen. another interesting thing too here, though. But let's say you do defend yourself. Yeah, yeah. They throw, they throw in jail in this goddamn country. That's that's one of the things I touch on. You know, it's it's you defend yourself. All of a sudden, you know, like like Cole said, you shoot a cop for breaking in your house, or you shoot a cop for. Um, I'm beating the crap out of you for no reason or something like that. Yeah, he's a hero. You're in prison. You're you're getting hung or electrocuted or injected with some type of chemical to kill you uh, to you know kill you. But um, that's just pathetic. That's stupid. That that is that's corruption at its finest. Because, like I said, we need to have someone to overlook the whole gun laws, overlook everything that was written. I'm not saying overlook the Constitution because the Constitution is, is you know, basically uh, ignored by today's government. Um, yeah, which means you really should just overthrow that government. Yeah. But... Oh, well, that, it says it in the Constitution. I was watching a video it like that today. Yeah. Once the, once the government's become oppress oppression and or they, they, they oppress the people and uh, become a tyrannical government, it's our duty to overthrow them. Well, according to some, I think it's the Boston Globe. Yeah. That that is actually terrorist. The uh, the oh, declaration fuck, of oh, is, is terrorist. 
Fuck <laughs> you, <laughs> fuck you, man. I'm I'm tired of hearing that. I'm so tired. I know, but isn't that sad? Like, you know, the, the, the Boston Globe or whatever. Look it was. at this face, okay? Look at this face, okay? NSA, CIA, whoever you guys are. I know you're probably gonna watch. Look, I got a nice little mustache. I know I look like uh, Guy Fox, don't I? <laughs> um. I don't care. I don't care what they think of me because I am for the Constitution. I am for freedom. I am for your rights. Right, and your audio is a little muffled. Oh yeah, I, I apologize for that. I I was I was getting too ramped up. I said I am for your rights. Okay, I am for freedom. I am for liberty. Um, so so yeah, go ahead NSA. Look at my face because I know they're looking at me, getting my identification. I look like Guy Fox. I know with my mustache and uh, goatee. Um. <laughs> Yeah, definitely. I just I just hate when, when people say that. If you believe in freedom, if you believe in overthrowing the government because they're a tyrannical government, you are a terrorist. That is complete right. bullshit. They are the terrorists. They are the tyrannical people, and they should be well, out of the this. According to Alex Jones, I don't know. I didn't read into it. I'm I didn't sorry. I'm getting it. ramped up. But, but what he's saying is that the government is now calling babies terrorists. If, if the baby yeah, throws his bottle, yeah, if, yeah. if the baby throws his bottle, he's a terror. that's the sign oh. of a terrorist. Like, that, that's what the government supposedly saying. Like, what the fucking retard thinks a, a baby is a terrorist? Like, you know how we were ridiculing well, well, Pakistan? You know, what the Bible, or... you know what the Bible preaches, Cole? <laughs> Whenever a child is born, right when it comes out of the mother's womb, it is it is a sinner. He has sinned. Yeah, that sounds like a Westboro Baptist Church. Yeah, well, um, yeah, that, they, they believe that too, but that's what yeah. the Bible states. And how the fuck can that be possible? <laughs> exactly. And it's going to hell. It's only been on Earth. It's only been outside of the mother for one and a half seconds. Yeah. <laughs> um, but, but, and you know, you know, just a few weeks ago, everyone was ridiculing Pakistan for, you know, sending I don't know, it's like a nine-month-year-old baby, mm -hmm. you know, saying it was a murderer, and um, exactly. yet here in Nor in the United States, they're they're calling babies terrorists. Um, yeah. Hmm, yeah, th yeah. Th th that's only other places, right? Oh yeah, that's not here in the United States, guys. That doesn't happen here. Soil and green. <laughs> and, you know, and you know these. Uh, oh yeah, I watched that. <laughs> that. That's why. That's why they're calling them terrorists because they want to use that soil and green. They want to burn the babies for their uh, for their uh, what do you call it? Their, oh, yeah, uh, that's what they do over there in Britain. They burn yeah, babies. Yeah, they burn. Their, I yeah, wouldn't want to go to their hospitals knowing that. I, I feel bad for Hyder, man. Don't have kids, Hyder. <laughs> Serious. If I had a problem or something, I'd go fly back to Canada and get yeah, it. Yeah, fly with. to the U.S. or Canada or. <laughs> Germany or somewhere. Yeah. I yeah. honestly, guys, I want to live in like uh, Switzerland or Germany. I don't want to live in the United States. I don't want to live in any other country that is against your rights, against your privacy, or you know, uh, against your privacy and stuff like that. Because yeah, you know, I don't mind where I am now, but is our government doing a lot of the same stuff that the U.S. They, is doing? Sure, they are. Of course, they yeah. are. There, there are many United States government. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is what needs to happen. The Constitution of the United States needs to be rewritten because it's totally false. The government is not following today's the the, the Constitution that was written by our founding fathers. They're but not the key, following the key that. Thing so is is that. You don't want to rewrite it because if you if you convince the government to do that, Obama's going to come down and rewrite it, and it's well, going to say Obama the dictator. But but they're not following the they're not following the Constitution now, so it doesn't matter anyways. What does it matter exactly? What mm -hmm. needs to happen, people? Alex Jones, if you ever listen to this, if you ever watching. You preach about it all the time. We need a revolution. 1776 will rise again. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. Okay, you preach it, but it's not happening. You know, so obvi obviously, we're not doing our jobs as, as you know, freedom fighters. We're not doing our jobs as freedom fighters, so we need to do something about that. You, you, no, nothing, nothing violent, nothing, you know, against, uh, you know, you know, blowing up stuff. Nothing to, do, nothing to have to do with that. I'm talking about, you know, getting out there, getting together with powerful people, and coming up with a new constitution, coming up with something that can be, you know, uh, touched, something that's real, not just a voice, not just a video, but something that's on paper, something that has highly decorated people, you know, involved in, not just a, a, a person like I am sitting here talking about it, like Alex Jones is. And something I want to mention is you mentioned this earlier. You were t we were talking about the, those police tanks and stuff, right? Again, ramped up. Yep. And you know, sometimes I, I mention these things. I ask people about it. I've asked people a few times about. You know, I've told them about you know the police tanks we have here in Edmonton, right? You know these armored vehicles. Dude, no I. No one has a goddamn clue <laughs> that they even exist I know. here in the city. Dude, freaking! I go down to Auburn. I go down to the city all the time, right? Mm -hmm. So for my doctors and stuff. Every time. I pass these these uh, big big manufacturing uh, places with freaking uh, transport uh, army trucks, um, tanks, and, and military vehicles and stuff, and it's like 
and I'm talking about like 30, 40, 50 tr trucks at a time, and, and they're different businesses, different manufacturing yeah. places. This is just not one place. And it's like, what the hell? And it's not an Army place. It's not the Army National Guard or anything like that. It's just like a big manufacturing uh, right. uh, building. What the hell do they need these for? But I thought it was really odd that people didn't Why? Know. Why isn't there reporters out there? Why aren't there people out there yeah. trying to find out what the hell this is for? I, mean, I thought it was really odd, though, that a lot of people don't seem to realize it right here in their own city that, that, that their own police department has these big armored vehicles that could kill wow. them. Wow. Well, that, 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 that's what stuff. it might be. That, that, those manufacturing places like I, I've seen here um, are probably for, you know, the police department. Whenever the police need them, they go to those those places, you know, they have the keys or whatever, and pop in the truck and go uh, go on their tyrannical uh, ty tyrannical way. It's just insane. It's oh, it, it's going to happen. And in everyone buys into the system. You know, people. some people go, oh, well, we can't change it, so let's just live with it. Or, or yeah, it's bad, but what do you can do about it? Or, or, it's not happening here. This is just a long list of excuses that are that, absolutely The problem bullshit. is with that, uh, yeah. The problem is with that, Cole, is there's so much stuff out here today. You got TV shows, you got music entertainment, you got uh, entertainment like uh, you know zoos and all the other stuff. All this other stuff to occupy their time with. Even yeah, the yeah. computer, even internet, even the internet can occupy their time and keep them away from reality. This, okay. I've heard of people. I've heard of Alex Jones uh, complain about Oculus Rift and a virtual reality. Heard Mark Dice complain about it too. We live in it today. We live in a virtual reality. Basically, what I mean by that is, we're all this stuff around us—the entertainment industry, the movies, the TVs—all that stuff is basically taking us away from what's really going on outside of all that. What's really going on is we're slowly being taken over a little bit at a time. We're slowly being dumbed down, slowly being brainwashed, and pretty soon we're just gonna be. Uh, Oh, Obama. Oh, actually, uh, wait, and, sorry, and hang on. I'm not saying it right. Our uh, Lord and Savior, Barack Obama. Obama. Yeah, <laughs> I don't, yeah, know, if, yeah. I don't yeah. know if you've seen that video, but... <laughs> no, I haven't. No, I haven't. <laughs> the guy is like, our Lord and Savior, Barack Obama. That's now, I, I just want to make this clear in this video. I know I'm very outspoken about this. I'm outspoken of tyrannical governments. I'm outspoken of, of back alley deals and, and corruption. I'm, I'm okay with government that follows the laws, that follows the boundaries, that follows uh, what they basically preach, okay? Right. And, and when, when they don't do that, when they uh, go off on the beaten path and do their own thing and, and basically lie to everyone, I'm not okay with that. And that's why I'm so outspoken of it, is because that's what's happening today in our government. Mm -hmm. And of course, you know, when you complain, uh, uh, some, one day I was talking about how, you know, they don't you know, they don't really give a shit what anyone thinks, right? Yeah. yeah. Said, you know, they, they go ahead and make these decisions, you know, yep. without dealing with anyone, and there's, and there's yep. like, so should we, should the government talk to everyone in, uh, in the entire country? Why? They wouldn't well, well, you know, if that's an issue, then, if, it, if it's not possible to, you know, do what the people want, it's yeah. not a government that actually works. No, no. So fuck that. And they, 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 blame, they, like, they, when they sit down and have the little meetings, the politicians and everything, it's how to they make never, more money. yeah, well, they never blame themselves on, on the, the problems with the United States. They always either blame the people, or or the, or the yeah, or the terrorists, or other countries, or this or that. They never blame. They never look inside of their own department. They never look inside of the government and see what's going on. No. Look at okay. I'm not. I'm not saying we should put all the blame on the president of the United States. Why? Because no, because he's, he's just not, a front man that doesn't do anything. He's anyways. just a face. He's just the face yeah. of the government. It, it, of the, the big of the problem government. is really what's going on behind closed doors. Now is Obama exactly. doing some stuff? He shouldn't be like all his wonderful yes. orders. Yes. yes. <laughs> Um, yeah, what, what was that one video? <laughs> what one thing good about being a president is I can do whatever I want. Yeah, yeah, you're saying that to like the French prime minister yeah. or something like. And oh, it's like crazy? sickening. Oh, you son of a bitch! No, you can't do whatever you want. You do what we tell you to do because we're the ones that run the country, not you. You're just the front man. Something right. I want to mention here. You know, we we were talking about Clive and Bundy earlier. Yep, and yep. Take his land. So oh, right yeah. here in the city, they, what they want to build. I don't know. Do you know what an LRT uh, system is? LRT like, you know, transit. It's kind of like a subway. Oh, okay, yep, yep. Um. Anyway, so they want to build a rail transportation. Yeah, the city, it's yeah. only going to take this city like 85 years to do it. But anyway, yep. <laughs> <laughs> and that's really the plan. And well, that's uh, anyways, they're, thinking of, they're thinking of the future, Cole. With that, they're thinking of the future. Oh, uh, trust me, no, it's not thinking of the future. They started this 40 years ago. <laughs> oh, and it's still not finished yet. Dang. <laughs> no, there's no thinking of the future here. It's all about uh, the money. They're getting money. From and that anyways, way. what's going on? The problem I see with it is, so they want to buy a bunch of properties, so they like, knock down homes and build. Right? That's fine. Yep. That's it, yeah. If you don't take their offer, they're taking your house anyways, and they're knocking down your house, and they're putting their goddamn LRT right there anyways. That 
And that's one of the problems we're having with the Clive and Bundy case. And like, okay, that's nice. You know, like, yeah, he, he, he built this infrastructure. That's wonderful. Well, Even Bunny, if it takes 85 years. Yeah. That's, Bunny didn't accept the deal. So what's going to happen is they're just going to go and build these solar panels and, and take the land and move the cattle no matter what. And, and it seems like most ranchers and, and uh, you know, people that deal with farming and, and cattle and raising cattle and providing meat and milk and all that good stuff, they're getting out of the business because it's get they're getting bought Expensive. up, they're getting kicked out, it's getting That's expensive. It. The government's putting these regulations down on them that is just insane. And the reason why, personally, my opinion on that is because the government wants to be in control of all of the food sources for the United States because they can manipulate the food, they can put brainwashing stuff in there no matter, you know, they're in control of it. They don't have to say, oh... You know, we're we need your meat because we want to put uh we want to put this stuff this chemical in it. And that, also, when that happens, I'm, I'm going on on a rant here. Well, the government has their own monopoly, like you're mentioning. Yeah, yeah. The control industry. And this happened in Alberta with a, a particular grocery store, but in the 80s. And what happened was, you know, they have an, basically control the entire industry, and that results in extremely high prices. Not to mention they can do whatever the hell they want, but they can have extremely high prices. Yeah, so hamburger, the hamburger's already going up. Oh, yeah, yeah, meat's going up here too, and yeah. we and we grow the shit in Alberta. Yeah, it's still going up. <laughs> you guys got good. You guys got good beef up there, I heard. Yeah, apparently that's what yeah. I, people tell me. It, I think it, you know, <laughs> it's, it's about all I eat, so I guess I don't notice it. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, you know, they're jacking that up, and Season. you know, on a small scale too, how government doesn't listen to you what? on a municipal level here in the city. You know, everybody in this in the city wants them to work on the roads, right? Yeah, so yeah. Priority is not to work on the roads. It's the last thing the city wants to do is do that. Same All thing here in Maine. City wants to do it. Same thing. Same thing here in Maine. <laughs> so in, in like here, instead of building one of those in, the roads, and yep. actually talk to some people, and they'll you know these people that love you know government and love oh, government yeah. control. Oh hell! We'll oh, hell. With a big long line of excuses for you know how it's okay that they should just forget about our infrastructure, like you yeah. know. It's, <laughs> Who would build the roads? Apparently not. The oh government. yeah, when, when we can't get to work and we can't get to school and stuff like that, yeah, oh well, you know. Yeah, apparently the government's not doing this so well. But so instead of building, you know, fixing all these roads, building new infrastructure, yeah, they're going to build like a eight hundred million dollar arena. Yep, that's prioritizing. Oh, that what the? Are you kidding me? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's <Market. the> <laughs> you know, they need all this government funding for it. They're gonna put them in debt and all that. And uh, yeah, one second, one second. Yeah, you're adjusting my audio level there. And they want to. Can you, you hear me? Now. Yep. Can okay. Me? Yeah, I can hear you. Anyways, um, so you know they're they're gonna put eight hundred million dollars in this, a lot of it government mon money and all that, you know, pr provincial government. Yeah. Oh, of course. Still continue to forget about the roads. You know, we're already two billion in debt. You know, what, like what do you want to build here? Another Detroit or something? Let's build but, an arena. <laughs> and so, even on a small scale, you see how the in just a small municipal government in a city. Would much rather not listen to his people, yeah. and then you go on a bigger scale to the corruption is not just in the the government; it's it's all over. It's it's a small government. It's it's the you well, yeah, know, it's all about money. You know, you yeah. look. At, I, I of course, I'm sure you remember me writing about historical buildings here in Denver. Oh yeah, oh and man, the, the demolition of every single one of them the was related to, to to one issue and one issue only. It was not a structural issue. It was not an issue with the building. There was no problems with the money, foundation. Money, money, money. There, there was no problems with the building whatsoever. Actually, most of the buildings they tore down were an absolutely perfect and excellent condition at the time. That's the issue, what I hate. That's what money. I hate. Yeah. That's what I hate. Up here in Maine, we have these big, beautiful barns and big, beautiful historical buildings and stuff, and we're slowly seeing them disappear. Slowly over time, we're seeing them disappear. Mm. When I came up here from uh, from living in Florida for 15 years, I came up here, and it was totally changed. I'm like, where's all... There, there's golf courses and stuff here. Uh, this isn't Maine. This isn't what Maine used to be to me. Like, I remember Maine as, as having, you know, churches and and historical buildings and brick buildings. And, and I love those buildings. You know, I, I, I don't beautiful. care where they're it beautiful. is. If it's got it, it's beautiful. Yeah. And in the city, you know, we have tons and tons of old churches just all over the place. Old churches, hundred-year-old churches. Everywhere. Oh, I love but, beautiful and, ph photography. Beautiful photography. And and oh, yeah. you know, most of the churches have survived. You know. But that's about all that survived. <laughs> you know, every everything else they tore actually they tore oh. down their, the the first city hall to build something else. <laughs> the first city hall. Yeah, you know, they knocked that. Like the city's been through three of them now. Holy shit! In a hundred years, wow. three city halls. Wow. Yeah, they actually, don't do that actually, here. the second one. Like this is how poor poorly it does, and this just goes to speak of how bad government is. Even fifty yeah. years ago, <laughs> within ten years of building the second one, it was too small and it needed to be replaced. Within ten years, Whoa. it was too small. They waited another twenty years to knock it down, but within ten years, 
it was already too small. Like, but did they did they was it a bigger building once they built was it bigger? It was actually a fair sized building from what I can see in the pictures and it was too small. And so they just built some other thing in the nineties. No actual planning. And they, the beautiful courthouse, they tore that down to build a, oh, a department man. store. Courthouses are awesome. I love them. Yeah, beautiful. It was all like sandstone and all that. Yeah. You know, classic thing that you would expect. You know, it was a, And they tore that down to build a, a beautiful, beautiful department store that's now a mall. Actually, because that department store ran out of business <laughs> in the 90s. And, and another, they tore down this beautiful library for a nice little tower. Mm, yes, yeah, so that's, that's nice. A all tower? Issues. Yeah, what it's a tower. A cell phone tower? Or? No, it was an office building. Oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, actually, government building at that. <laughs> well, you know why? It's because yeah, it's all about the money. And yeah, every, everything like that has been. Is, and if if the government all all that cares about money, mm. what's the point? Like, think about it. Your taxes. You know, that, it's just stealing money from you. Actually, it, it, taxes. You know, were meant to be temporary in actually both yep. countries, yep. the U.S. Yep. and Canada, and um, uh, they don't appear to be that temporary anymore. <laughs> You know, here they've been around for what a hundred years in Canada. I don't know how long in the U.S., but oh, I don't know. They've um, been been around for a while. And yeah, they brought them out in World War One to pay for a bunch of things here, and um, yeah, they haven't gone away since. Damn. So you reckon we should head on to the next article, or yeah, if you unless you had anything else to say on tyranny. Uh, it's it's everywhere. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You know. Um, one thing I recommend, here. one thing I recommend about staying away from GMOs and all that is, is have your own gardens, uh, raise your own beef, raise your own chickens, raise, raise your own uh, fish. Mm -hmm. You know, get, uh, create a pond out back and, and grow some tilapia or grow some bass or catfish or whatever. Well, think about the fish you get actually, actually right here in Alberta. They, well, not, well, not grow. You can't grow catfish. I mean, raise. Yeah, like here, I'm gonna put this catfish seed, this seed in the fucking ground and. <laughs> well, I'll pop the catfish. <laughs> and anyways, uh, so it was a study. It was some student at some school in Alberta, surprisingly, and yeah. it went to some grocery stores and tested the radiation of the different seafood they had. Right. Yep. Yeah. And it all had nice radiation, and it all from Japan. Like they still and guess well, what? In both in both the United States and Canada, yeah. there's absolutely zero regulation on the amount of radiation on any of the seafood that comes in from Japan. No regulation whatsoever. If it's oh, coming from Japan, yeah. throw it in the grocery stores. It's good. Well, well, here's the problem with that: is having diabetes, I have to eat a lot of fish and stuff. Right. Because there's zero carbs. Like I can eat as much as I want and not have to worry about my blood sugars. Um, and I've been eating a lot of tuna fish. I've been eating a lot of, uh, you know, f uh, fresh fish from the uh, market there. And I've I've been very wary. I've been very worried. Yeah, they, they recommend uh, not to eat. not eat a whole bunch of tuna because I guess oh, don't tell because me that. it's at the top of the food chain. It has a bunch of dangerous oh, chemicals my God. and metals and stuff. Oh, Cole, why are you doing this? Oh, I'm deforming. I've got radiation. That, that, that's a, that's no. actually that's actually no, it's not just radiation. That's why they don't recommend pregnant women eat tuna. Uh, at all. Yeah, yeah. Um. Well, but, that sucks, uh, Cole. I I still eat it, but uh, I, I if, if I have if it. I have a third arm, Cole, then uh then we're gonna have to call uh, we're gonna have to cancel uh, these live shows. Yeah, yeah. I'll have to go to the hospital. on your head or something. Yeah. Oh wait, I can type on my head, guys. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that didn't look right. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, and um, it is. You know, they they don't care about what we eat. You know, you look at you know cancer rates; they've jumped up. You know. Oh yeah, cancer, diabetes. Uh, Pancake syrup. You know, wonderful. Alzheimer's. That, you, know, you can't eat that crap anymore. That's yeah, so let, let's let's uh, migrate over to that uh, that article actually. Oh yeah, yes we can. Yeah, go ahead and migrate we, to that one. Well, like we were mentioning in the beginning of the show, Health Canada has not bothered answering my email because I'm just unimportant. I'm only a citizen of Canada, but unimportant. <laughs> um, <laughs> And, well, that, that's because you're uh, you're not a voter. You're not a registered voter yet. So. Oh, I don't intend to vote for tyranny. You don't, you don't matter. <laughs> yeah, vote for two cool. morons. You know, like, like actually, you know, a Stephen Harper, our current prime minister. Fuck, he's been in for a long time now. I'm really? sure he's going on 20 years now. <laughs> well, then uh, he's doing something wrong, right? No, uh, how long? Oh no, it wasn't 20 years. No, I, I guess I jumped over. But he assumed office in 2006, so he's almost at 10 oh, years. Uh, but 10 no, years. we've had a few prime ministers that have been in for like 22 years. It's like, oh, good. <laughs> that's the thing. We don't we don't get rid of our front men up here. <laughs> ah, yeah, that's why that's why I said you know he's doing good because he's doing something wrong. <laughs> oh yeah, meaning and, you know doing something wrong. Like look, you know the one that's real politician in you know any Canadian government, Rob Ford. There you know. <laughs> oh yeah, 
<laughs> he's, a, he's, a, he's, a, he's a terrorist. He's against Everybody's the Everybody's ridiculing him. Yeah, he's the only real one. You know, he, he actually admits he has problems. Yeah. He admits that he you know drinks a little too much sometimes. <laughs> he admits he smokes crack sometimes. You keep your personal problems out of government, you'll be fine. He, he admits that he has you know more than enough eat to eat at home. <laughs> be, don't be don't. real. Don't be real in government, and you'll be okay. Mm -hmm. And he's Tried everything. He's the most real person I can think of in government, and everyone's making fun of him. Ha ha ha! But no one wants to look at his policies. Yeah, there. Yeah, that's the thing. I bet all of his policies freaking would would make him damn. He uh, says he's saving taxes and all that, making a lot of making Toronto a better you city. Know what? If he ran, if he ran for uh, what is it, uh, prime minister or or president or whatever, would would you vote for him? Rob uh, for sure. Why not? Yeah. <laughs> be <laughs> fun to have him in there. You'd be sitting up there lighting up a joint or something. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, today we're going to have a lesson on rolling a joint. <laughs> He's sleeping in the House of Commons. <laughs> <laughs> hey, he's getting ready for uh, one of his live uh, videos they do, like the president does, or addresses or whatever. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Those are always... I, I watch Obama do, do those every now and then. Yeah. I, I thought the one about 1010 was interesting. Uh, like, you know, oh, I don't even know. How long? Like, you know, actually funny, I was looking at... I remember how I told you I was looking through those old newspaper articles, and of course they have all the old advertisements for all the grocery stores. You know, half of them don't yeah, exist yeah, anymore. Yeah, 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 um, yeah. And you know, I it was it, it, everything looks so cheap, right? Until you look at the inflation, and it it's amazing how much everything has gone up in over the years. I you know, I've heard Cole, I've heard that you're not paying for the product that's in the container. You're paying. For the the container itself, the the okay. name that's on the container, the the container itself, the food in it doesn't matter. You're paying for the container. Well, think, think of the shirt I'm wearing. I'm wearing this orange shirt here. It's this the it's a seven dollars shirt from Walmart, right? Yeah. And so it's plain shirt, seven dollars. Yeah. It's, if, get, if, I, if I were to write something and I, I on it, boo boo, or <laughs> something really really stupid, and that just reminded me of something. Yeah. Um, it'd be like a forty dollars shirt. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah. Come on. And I don't know what what the hell this is all about, but I've seen a number of people lately, you know, riding the bus and stuff. You know, they're wearing these hats that say "Obey" on them, or these T-shirts that say "Obey" on them. That's anonymous. That's anonymous there, Obey. And like, even then though, it's still it's like a, a subliminal message like "Obey your government." <laughs> no. Uh, yeah. No, they're, 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 that 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 saying means the government mean the government needs to obey us. Oh, maybe, but I don't think. That, that, well, that's what the, that's what the, uh, the the slogan for anonymous was: is obey, meaning. But, uh, or no, no, it was disobey. Excuse me, disobey, not obey. And it ain't anonymous. <laughs> no, 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 <laughs> it was disobey. No, it is anonymous. Disobey the government, meaning disobey all the. No, it, it, it literally it just says obey. No, that was that was that was yeah. for the government. That was obey the government. And, obey the corporation. And I, I just don't get it. Like, why would you wear a shirt that says obey? Like, hmm. I, I'd like to ask them what they mean, or something. I should do it one day. <laughs> I got that mixed up there. The people that I see wearing these things, though, they have, I don't think they have a damn clue about what they're going uh, No. They just think, oh, that's a cool design. I'm going to pay 40 bucks for that. Like you, could, you could probably give them a shirt that's a, that says, Our Lord and Savior Obama. And they oh, wear, yeah. It just yeah. put a tag on it that says, If you don't buy this, you're racist. <laughs> yeah, that's what uh, uh, Alex Jones says. You're racist! You're racist! So, I, we might as well jump into this quickly. I guess we can end this off a little later, if that's okay with you. Yeah, that's fine. We'll, we'll, we'll keep streaming. Well, we got to get uh, these topics in, though. According to a new report, pancake syrups contain a cancer-causing chemical. Now, I'm sure most of us like pancakes. I, I don't mind them every now and then. After a while, I kind of get sick of them. But anyways, the point yeah. is, regular pancake syrup contains a chemical that, that may be human carcinogen, possibly causing cancer in humans and proven to cause cancer in mice. Many types of syrup contain a chemical called formel. It can also be found in a wide range of food items such as soft drinks, soy sauce, and even in various baked goods. So it's in a number of food items. In terms of syrup, formula is contained in the caramel color which is used to give it its golden hue that we all associate with pancake syrup. Consumer Reports tested four brands of pancake syrup to see just how much formal was contained in it. They also used maple syrup as a control which contains far less formal than any of the conventional syrups tested. According to Consumer Reports, the formal present in maple syrup is likely due to the heating process that turns the maple sap into yeah. syrup. The amount contained in the test syrup was uh, was um, 0 0.7 micrograms per one fourth cup, so it wasn't enough to be considered any of a, a significant risk. Yeah. But when you look at the rest of them, much much higher. 33.0, 38.0. Yeah, uh, this is interesting. So if you get the regular Aunt Jemima, you get less. But if you go with this Aunt Jemima light, you actually get more. And this Hungry Jack original, which I don't think we have here, uh, 38 we micrograms. Yep. 
Like, whoa. And, you know, the lowest one was this log cabin original. Log even cabin original, I heard of that. If you and if you eat enough of that, it still causes uh, cancer causing to me. Yeah, Eleven point five. Uh, actually, when I before I was using the Aunt Jemima original stuff, so not me too. I was using that. I was using I was using Aunt Jemima, and I was using Mrs. Butter J Butterworth. Yeah, and you know, it, yeah. Aunt Jemima. You associate that with pancake stuff, and now you're you find out it causes cancer. And anyways, Consumer Reports said that if the syrup is consumed at na at the average twice a week, the cancer risk is one in one million. Uh, in terms of the lowest scoring I don't like the test most. syrup on the list, so if you drink use Aunt Jemima, it's a little, little higher than that. Yeah. Um, if consumed daily, as four percent of children aged one to five do, the risk goes up ten percent. At this point, they believe the risk uh, becomes significant. All the syrups tested would pose a significant cancer risk if consumed daily, except for maple syrup. Um, <laughs> isn't that scary? And and people wonder like, people wonder why cancer rates have you know just shot up over the years. Oh, yeah. and, and, it's, and it's not. It's not just the maple syrup. It's not just the syrup. It's in other well, foods. Everything. Well. It's everything. Everything gives us yeah. cancer. You know, it, it's it's probably a fault of our industrialized food system. We yep. don't eat natural anymore. At least many of us don't. Hundred years ago, uh, you know, food was very different. They weren't messing with the genetics of food. They weren't eating pure chemicals. You're really, you, yep. you eat this pancake syrup, and you know, I hate to say it, but you know, it's probably just all a bunch of chemicals. Oh yeah. And when you look at the ingredients list of just about any food product, half of them you can't even pronounce. Shouldn't that be a sign something's wrong? Natural things at least have names we can pronounce and names that we can visualize in our heads. Most of us, you know, most of the chemicals we eat, no one has a damn clue what they are, or what they look like. Maybe natural is the way to go. Let me, let me, uh, can I quickly jump in here? Mm -hmm. I got a bag of one pound of beef jerky teriyaki, right? Right. This is for my that gaming set. Now, now you'd think, you think this is just beef jerky. You think it's just beef and that's it, okay? Okay, let's read it off, Cole. We got beef. Oh, yeah, there's beef included. Wow. We got water. We got sugar. We got uh, maltodextrin. Yeah, hey, how, how do I spell it? Let's look up some risks associated to whatever the hell that is. Oh come on! Don't freak me out, cause I. You know, I eat this stuff too. I'm gonna freak myself okay. out. Okay. Okay. He he was speaking about these hard pr pronounced words: sodium erythorbate. Sodium. Erythorbate. E R Y. T H O R. Oh, you got it. Yeah. Yes. Glu glutamate. Glutamate. Monosodium glutamate. Maltodextrin. We got all types of stuff, and, and and this is just beef jerky, guys. So I got a question. Just to prove my point, do you know what sodium erythorbate even looks like? It's, uh, it's got to do something with salt or something, right? Uh, you know, it's actually brown apparently. But uh, let's see here. Yeah. It's a chemical variation. That, oh, it's actually vitamin C. Um, it's a food preservative because of its antioxidant effects and has no nutritional value of its own. So uh, it's sent general side effects, headaches, body flushing, generalized fatigue, dizziness, <laughs> lightheadedness, uh, um, hemolysis, a condition where red blood cells rupture, leading to anemia and other complications. Well, I'm definitely nice. skinny, so I got anemia. Uh, gastrointestinal side effects. I got that problem, too. Sodium erythrobate can cause nausea, vomiting, heartburn, uh, abdominal cramping, and diarrhea. There is the uh, face of sodium erythrobate, or whatever the hell you call it. Wow. Can you believe that's in our food, guys? And I'm eating it right now on the live show? If you guys uh, see me uh, have some health problems real quick, then you know what's, what the problem is. All right. I'm consuming, what is it called, Cole? Sodium I, 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 Sodium erythrobate. Yeah, that. Mm -hmm. So, uh, I guess that's, um, hmm. And that's, uh, just, that's just one, one chemical in beef jerky. So, imagine all the other chemicals that are all in all the other foods. Okay? Give me another chemical. What's that? Give me. Yeah, give me look at this. I, I was drinking this earlier, so it's drinkable yogurt. So let's see what this re lead yes. on. Read it. So skim milk, water, sugar, cream, raspberry puree, milk, and uh, mm -hmm. protein concentrates, natural flavor, modified cornstarch, active bacterial culture, citric acid, sodium citrate, color, vitamin D3, potassium sorbate. The hell is that? Potassium. Potassium sorbate. It's it's. You find that in Gatorade. You find that in a lot of. Uh, this one doesn't sound as bad as your beef jerky, though. And it, no, it doesn't. Well, let's see. Is it bad for us? So formal. I wonder if that's like formaldehyde. 
No, it's actually not formaldehyde. What what it actually stands for is something that I that's well pain in the ass to. Uh, it's go. it's for methylim uh I <laughs> uh, wow. Yeah, it's yeah, I'll put it in the chat. You can give it a go at trying to pronounce I, that way. I do want to mention that a few days ago in my vlog on my main channel, I'm gonna be posting uh here in a couple of days. I did record actually a, a person outside with a pot cooking uh, syrup. And I'll, in my vlog, I'm like, oh, Cole's going to love this because I took a video of it. And that they do Because we have a lot of maple trees up here, and it's all over the place. Even my dad used to uh, used to make his own maple syrup. Mm -hmm. uh, and basically, you just go get a, uh, get a tree, make a tap, tap the tree, right. get a bucket, put the bucket on the tree, and the, mat, uh, the, the sap you know, drizzles out into the bucket. Then you go and cook it up. Um, and I was like, holy cow, look at this, man, just in time. Yeah, in, in Canada, most of our uh, maple syrup comes from about the same area. It comes from Quebec here. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, same, close to the area, yeah, very close. All right, uh, methylimidazole. Methyl, meth, 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 <laughs> meth, <laughs> There we go. Hey, read off another chemical for me that's in your Or methylimidazole. For methylimidazole. Something like that. Something like that. Uh, okay, we got well, we got corn syrup. Well, that's we all know that's not good. Yeah. Um, sodium. Oh, we already did that one. Okay, we got maltodextrin, fructose. Uh, maltodextrin. I got it here. Maltodextrin. Let's see what it's um, going to do for us. Wow, guys, all that all that stuff just out of that one chemical. That's what it causes. And a lot of that I have. A lot. I get headaches all the time. I have gastrointestinal problems. Shamely, I admit. <laughs> 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 wow. Maybe because it's hard to break down. I don't know. Because this is not just beef jerky. Like the jerky you'd get if you kill a deer and uh, dry out the jerky. Actually, multidextrin is not look. that bad for us. No? No, because our body thinks it's uh, sugar, so. Oh. Uh, yeah, it's not that bad. It's, a it's, sweet actually, it's slightly more natural. That's why there's only five carbs in, in this. Mm -hmm. so that's why I'm eating, eating but the, a lot. That one chemical there. Oof, <laughs> wow. Um, so make sure, to re make sure to research. Research the ingredients, guys, from now on, please. So yeah, like I was saying, though. Know, know what you put in your body. So a ton of stuff is formal, which is giving us cancer. Mm -hmm. If you like rice and you soy sauce with that, there's some cancer. Um, one one uh, Rice and one cup of cancer, please. Yeah, and you know, Pepsi came into the news a while back for the same chemical, and apparently mm -hmm. they have not made any changes. Like I said, they were going to. I'm uh, so like glad. I'm one thing I am glad about my diabetes. It's made me take out all the bad foods or most of the bad foods, and it's made me more aware of what I put in my body. And um, you know, like I said, Health Canada hasn't bothered responding to me. Yeah, yeah, some sons of bitches. <laughs> Hey, I'm only a citizen of the country, and they're my government, but, you know, yeah. uh, we don't care about you. Um, and, uh, you know, they don't, they, don't have, they don't bother putting up a web page for it, no information about it on their website, like they do with no stuff warnings, like BPA. No, yeah, they should put, like, a warning or something. Yeah, like like they do with BPA and stuff like that, like that plastic. Mm -hmm. And uh, But no, not this stuff. No, 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 no warnings whatsoever. And uh, FDA is the same way. <laughs> wow. I'm so glad that I... Uh... And actually, what from what I found, you can't even contact the FDA through an email. <laughs> no, I, well, I think there's like a number on the on the. Yeah, you have to call them. But uh, 800, 800 number. Yeah. Oh, maybe uh, this is a uh, your call may be monitored. Blah 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 blah. Oh, great. Pancakes. Yeah, so, so guys, are you gonna have pancakes in the morning? Let me know. <laughs> Not me. Not are, you have, are you gonna have uh, maple syrup? What, what type of syrup are you gonna have on it? I'm gonna. Have Try maple syrup again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna gonna. Why? Well, why? Well, is it too strong for you? No, I. You know, it's been a very long time since I've had it. I never liked it. Oh God, I love maple syrup, man. Nice. Maple, yeah, maple, uh, maple, maple bacon, maple syrup uh, on the bacon there. That's I've seen some maple bacon in the store, and I. That is amazing. Know, like, so I just didn't bother with it. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, Cole Cooper, check out newsingeneral.com. I'm not telling Cole Cooper, but Cole Cooper <laughs> wrote an article. Uh, about the uh, the chemicals that are in pancake syrup, uh, one ke chemical partic in particular, uh, formal. Make sure to check out the link in the description because we will have all the articles posted below. So if you want to read more about them, go check out the, li the links in the description. Uh, and you want to do one more article or you want to end it off here? 
Uh, we will do one more because I really want to get to this one. This one I have a lot to say on. Okay, and I'm going to get through all of it. I want to read it here. So, teacher fired after ordering six students to beat another student. Teacher in Florida has been fired after she essentially ordered a hit on another student, all in the name of teaching him a lesson. The St. Lucie County School Board has fired Drew DeHart, who taught at the Northport K-8 school after it was found that she had encouraged six 8th grade students to beat up. And this one took me a while to figure out, but I think I got the pronunciation of this guy's name right. All right, go ahead. So, I think it's like Rad Rabius or something. What do you think? Um, Drew DeHart, uh, where are you at? Second paragraph. Rad, oh, Rad Rabius. Rad Rabius, yep. Yeah, it, it, I had to think about that one for a minute earlier when I was writing it. <laughs> uh, Williams, back in 2013, Drew DeHart decided that she would teach Williams a lesson after she claims he threatened her. So instead of dealing with the issue appropriately, she rounded up six eighth grade students to beat up Williams, who was in the seventh grade. Instead of doing her job, she decided that using six older students to carry on some discipline would be the best way of going about things. Williams, ooh, I should fix that, that's an error. Williams' wow. mother, uh, Latasha uh, Darasaw, uh, said, he said they kicked him in the hallway and that they held him down, they kicked him, they stomped him, they beat him, and as he was trying to get away, they basically continued to torture him. Uh, she also says that the teacher remarked, I got my eighth, eighth grade boys on you, you're not so tough now. I got my uh, cops on you. You're not so tough now. So yeah. <laughs> and the police later arrested the six students involved in the attack. Uh, Williams denies the claims that he ever threatened the teacher. According to his attorney, uh, Dina Sisk Foreman, uh, the teacher told him to be quiet, and Williams responded with, quote, I wish I could curse at a teacher. Uh, end quote. I'm surprised he didn't curse at her, actually. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Especially after what happened. <laughs> I'd have a lot to say yeah. to her. Oh, yeah. Um, uh, witnesses that were in the class at the time uh, are said to confirm this story. Uh, whether or not Williams threatened his teacher or simply wished he could curse at her, uh, rounding up six older students to beat him down in the name of teaching him a lesson is rather absurd. The teacher should have handled it appropriately, and if it wasn't something she could have ha could handle, they could have other people to school deal with it. She shouldn't be a teacher if she can't handle that. Well, yeah, let, let administration take care of the problem if it's too far in your league. Yeah. You know, what was stopping her from doing that? What made her think that uh, six, eighth grade boys would do a better job of disciplining Williams than, you know, the administration of the school? You know, well, they, they should be funny. teachers then. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. They should run the damn school. Yeah. Uh, what would what would make her think that this was a good idea? What, what teacher decides that instead of properly disciplining a student, sending six older students to beat him up is a better way of going about things? She knew she couldn't beat a student herself, so instead of practicing self-control, exactly. she decided to send off six students to carry on her dirty work for her. Yeah. What kind of teacher is that? No, the hipsters. The hipsters. They put a put a hit out on him. <laughs> You know, what exactly was she thinking? Has she pulled this trap in the past? You know, one major question I have though is about the teacher's conduct. Is you know, Williams is a black student. The teacher is white. Now, one one can't really say for sure, but but did yeah. race play a role here? Had Williams been a white student, would the teacher have gone about things differently? Mm. Uh, at this time, the teacher, former teacher, hasn't spoken publicly about the incident, nor has she attempted to apologize to Williams or his family. Williams now attends a different school and did not return to Northport K-8 school after the incident. And of course, Williams' family is playing a civil rights lawsuit, and I hope they absolutely just destroy this fucking teacher in the court. Anyway. Oh yeah, you tell him, Cole, destroy the shit out of her. <laughs> Destroy that old bag. Oh, she looks like an old bag too, but yeah, I know. Uh, <laughs> you know, she, I mean, I've seen the picture of her. I hate that smirk she has on her face. I hope that's not after this incident. That you know, I, 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 it, it is a picture of her walking down the hallway. If I was that, she's all I, smiling. If I was that student, I'd tell her to wipe that phony fucking smirk off her goddamn <laughs> face. Oh man, I would, I would, I would, uh, yeah, I would definitely say have some, have some not too kind words. To oh say yeah, no shit. Like you know, I would you know, well, I wouldn't be I, I wouldn't be saying I'd wish this curse at the teacher. I would be <laughs> after this bullshit if I was in his position. Of course, you know, I I guess he when these kids he was they were for you know at one point you know his friends eighth graders eighth graders no chance a kid could could defend himself four of them yeah you know. It, you know, six you know six of them is that you know oh, like six, oh six I thought it was four no six you know how the hell do you defend yourself against six people yeah and, and, yeah oh in the picture in the picture of the uh, the surveillance uh, picture I seen it looked like there was only four I don't know, let's count is it, the report see. say six so let's see here one two three four five yeah I think there's a sixth one there. Oh, he's bent. Yeah, it's not yeah, really. It's one standing back, you know. Okay, yeah. I see. Like or, every school, they. Oh wow, they're things. like look like a damn ghost there. One, two, three, four, five. It looks like he. It looks like he's got the one guy on the ground on his knees, like in a headlock or like like between his legs, like he's about to power bomb him or something. Like, what do we? What do you think, Jason? Do, do, do you think that race played a role in this? Or do you think this is just some, you know? Some, uh, this is some hell bent 
teacher that thinks she's got the power in the world, thinks she rules the school, um, could get her little posse eighth graders, her her sunshine students, as as they were called in, in my my school, mm -hmm. that I went to, the kids that were you know the the goody two shoes, sucked up to the teacher, did what the teacher said. Well, I, I'd like to know if there was some money involved in this. Oh, that's a good question. You know, it's not that you have to suck up to the teacher because like most of those people that suck up to the teachers, anyways, can't fight worth a shit. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, Cole, I can attest to that, man. So, uh, I wondered if some money was involved in here, like a real hit, you know, like, oh, here you go, kids. <laughs> you beat the stun out of this guy. If oh, that's the case, hundred dollar bill for everyone. Big, big, big legal issue there. They could sue the. Sh I'd sue the shit out of her so oh, bad. Yeah. They oh, want to do the civil rights issue, but you, yep. you know, race could have been played a role. And well, that's know, the thing you don't know. You don't know. You don't know, and no one I think ever. What about her past too? What about her past? Did she have any uh, other problems like this? Yeah. In, in, uh, uh, other races, or you know, yeah, like you know, these kids and they're beating them up. And could money play an issue? It, sure. The, the way to convince someone to do something is, is if whatever way she could have done it, she could have said, "Hey, you know what? I'll give you some money." Or, or maybe, maybe these kids were failing her, her class, like you know, uh -huh. bump up your marks oh, if you beat the yeah, yeah, there you go. And you know, of course, she would. And it took them a year to fire her because she wanted some special hearing. Otherwise, they would have just fired her right then and there. That's what should have happened. Just fired, bam, right then. And they would have done that had she not requested some stupid investigation and hearing. Um, because, you know, but I guess at the hearing, it only took uh, just a few minutes to come to the decision that mm -hmm. she needed to be fired. <laughs> there was no question. You not just fired, fire. but uh, like never allowed to teach again. Uh, yeah. Fines, you got to pay. And, you know, it's like. What the, what the hell kind of teacher does this? You know, like you know, she's got the. You can tell that's a phony fucking smile on her face. First oh of all. yeah, she, she's like a politician basically. But yeah, and I, I think it's interesting that he. And I think I believe his story over the teacher's story. Oh yeah, I do know, too. Yeah. He, he says he wanted to curse at the teacher. Like, wow, you know, if this kid didn't say anything to the teacher after, you know, I respect uh, the kid. I respect. Yeah, <laughs> he's got he's got some. Uh, very good grasp on his. Uh, and you, you see him. I don't know if you watched the video. I, I didn't put it in the article, but if you watch the report, he he, um, they interview him and he's so calm about it. <laughs> I didn't see the the. I, uh, I think he article? talks, and I'm pretty sure he's calm about it. There's a picture of him on there. I think he talks. I remember. Oh, right oh okay. Is that is that the video? or Is that just a picture? I know it's a oh, picture. But if you go down to the sources, like, yeah, the links down yeah. there. Yeah. Yeah. What do you think of those sources? I've been doing them the proper way now. Good. I love the sources. Yeah. Yeah. It's using the Chicago. Uh, style way of doing it. I like it. We're yeah. definitely going to keep that. So if you guys want the sources for this article and this story, go ahead and check out our article. And in, in the bottom of the article, you'll find all the sources. Yeah, I had to print off a page because I tried looking for it in this book. Mm -hmm. And I couldn't find It's in here somewhere, and I still can't find it. Ah, oh, cool. <laughs> That's more. Book. This is more on the live show here, and we're just going to do this casually. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to be getting my A plus and my Security Plus certification. And, oh yeah. Yep. I took the I took the both practice tests, which was three hundred dollars. Yep. I, I had to pay, and I got like a eighty seven and an eighty four. Oh nice. But that was a practice test. So you should do even better on the real one. Well, well, I don't know. It might be harder than the real one. That's why I'm gonna. That's why I'm gonna pay for the books, and I'm gonna study right. on all of it all, and then I'm gonna pay to get the uh, the test done, the oh, cool. exam, exam for my certs. That's neat. Yep. So I have my A plus and my uh, security plus. Even though A plus doesn't really matter anymore, but it's still, you know, it's still a certification. I'm still going to be certified for handling uh, computers and stuff like that. So I'm definitely going to get it. Oh, that's good for you. Just just wanted to mention that while I had you on here. Mm -hmm. And but yeah, this teacher, like, like you know, that's, cops arrest. I don't know what, how the, what the cops dealt, how the cops dealt with them. I I would have been pissed. Anything, because, now that this happened, I think the cops should come down and arrest this bitch. Well, yeah, yeah, that's what I was saying. But not only sh we we shouldn't always only think about this one woman. What about all these other cases that could be going on around the world that aren't talked about or or aren't uh, sure. spoken out about? Yeah, not a, not every student you know has the guts to go tell a teacher to go fuck herself. Oh yeah, like, not everyone yeah. has to do it. And and if you don't have any proof, you know. The principal, uh, they're not going to believe you. You're yeah. like, you know, you're a shitty student. You're going to get suspended for yeah. that one. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. Or they send you to the cop, you know, the thug to, you know, get dealt with. And so you have to have proof. And a lot of times you can't really get proof, you know. Mm -hmm. There's one story I want to write about, but I get, he had some proof, seven-minute video, and the teacher forced him to delete it. Now, and it, someone tried to force me to delete it. I said, go fuck yourself. Uh, go fuck you know, yourself. After <laughs> the little performance you just gave. Yeah. You know, I you know, caught you in Somebody. Let's go see the principal together. And yeah, yeah. You know, Betty, let's go see the cop. I'm sure he will like to see this video. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, 
some cops, some cops. Some cops. I'll take my chances and yeah. you know make sure it's uploaded like UStream or something. Yeah, yeah, do it UStream. I definitely got that on all my phones. Yeah, uh, I got it on my phone too, just in yeah. case. Just in case. You never know what's out there, guys. You never know what's gonna happen. Yeah, you know, you might see some road pirate activity or something, but. Oh yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but no, this like. Now, not everyone has the proof, and that's why a lot of people don't stand up for it because you know yep. you're supposed to be able to look up to these teachers. Obey, as you said, obey. Yeah, that's what you're supposed to do in school. You have to ask the teacher permission to go piss. Like <laughs> now, now, in closing, I want to uh, basically bring up. I have a uh, anonymous source that I'm going to be uh, talking with and, and getting on the show, hopefully, mm -hmm. sometime soon, about a problem with their children in schools. Um, and uh, I definitely want to bring this up and, and get this well known because it's it's something that I believe uh, should be known and should be dealt with and should have uh, people speaking out about it. And uh, this is one way of, of being able to get that known is doing getting this person on the show. Mm -hmm. um, so definitely, uh, this person will be uh, remained anonymous, but I will share the uh, identity with Cole. The person I'm speaking of uh, gave me the permission to um, tell the co-owner here, Cole Cooper, who that person is. So, but. Uh, we will refer to this person as uh, Amy. All How right. does that sound? Amy. This is just this is not the real name. This is just a, an identity, Amy. So, yeah, we're gonna hopefully get get that person on uh, soon. All right, no, that's good. Yeah. But uh, sadly, a lot of these people don't. You know, they don't have the proof. They don't have. You know, that's they do. You know, it, it's bullshit. You know. Teachers, you know, I could, you know, I, these stories shouldn't be reminiscent of all teachers because I've had, you know, some excellent teachers in the past. Oh, I have too. Absolutely. Not so good teachers too, and yeah, so, you know, it, it makes the good teachers look really bad. <laughs> um, you know, but you know, this is this is bullshit. Like, what kind of teacher does this? Like, like really? Like, I like to know what she does in her personal life. Does she have a boyfriend? She doesn't like shoot him. <laughs> <laughs> like, really? Like. This is absolute bullshit. Like, what did I you say to me, mom? Okay, I'm gonna get my posse going over there to beat you up. Yeah, like it, it's it's like something you'd see other kids doing. Like, you know, it's like yeah, kid, yeah. You know, you're gonna fuck with me. Well, I'm gonna bring I'm gonna over all my, my guys, friends. and they're gonna yeah. fuck with you. Exactly. You know? Yeah. No, no. It's the teacher going. All right, all right. You wanna you wanna say you wanna curse at me? Well, I'm gonna teach you a lesson. I'm gonna no, go put my eighth grade boys adult. after you. Not an adult decision. Not a. Adult. No, it's not. It's fucking immature. Like, yeah. it's an idiot decision. She like, should. You know. She should uh, be in the classroom uh, learning, not the other, not the. Uh, yeah, like children, you know. It, you know, if if the students were doing that to the students, I yeah, could, that, and it's still bad. But I could at least be a little more understanding. Yeah, exactly. It's still bad, but I can understand it a little more. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah but a teacher doing it, you're supposed to be able to go to the teacher and say, you know, you know, Joe Bob on the playground beat the snot out of me. <laughs> that's Joe Bob, Jim Bob. Yeah. And that's the sad part too. I don't know what your schools down there. I can imagine the same thing. But here, yeah, you know, especially when I was in elementary, you know, what if, you know, what do you do if some kids beat the snot? Of, wants to beat the snot out of you? Oh, you're supposed to lie down and take it. Or, yeah, that's, or <laughs> that's the same thing here. The same thing here. Even back when I was in elementary, that's the same thing there as well. Or, or, or if you know, you see. No, tell the teacher. Don't get no, no, no. If they're breaking your jaw, that's okay. Tell yeah, the teacher. Yeah. But when when uh, middle school and high school, that's when it starts to get a little serious, where you yeah, have the, yeah. the resource officer involved and tasers yeah. and light sticks and get slammed up against a brick wall and threats and all that good stuff. So, mm -hmm. so you know, the, you know, I admit, I admit, I wasn't too great in seventh grade. Um, I was, I was one of the bullies in seventh grade. I was, you know, one of the guys who thought he was hot shit. I guess you could say. Yeah. But I learned, I learned my lesson and I matured. Uh, I think a lot of kids go through that, or a lot of males go through that. And most people, in, yeah, most people learn eventually that hey, you know, this is yeah. wrong. Like, yeah, but yeah, you know, you, you know, they teach you not to stand back, but you know, if you if you punch the asshole in the face and you know drop him, you think he's gonna think twice next time around? <laughs> But if you lie down and take it, like, oh, yes, Mr. Bully. He's just going to keep coming back. He's just going to keep coming back. That's the way it was garbage. with me. Oh, yes, yes. Oh, well, punch me in the face. Give me black eyes. Of course yep. he's going to keep coming back. You know, you, you know, sure, you know, you can take it for a while well, if you now, want. Now, I want to I quickly bring this up. Sorry, I'm, I'm buttoning mm -hmm. a lot. But, no, that's okay. Um, middle school, like I said, seventh grade, I was a bully. 
But in elementary school, I was the person being bullied. And the reason why I had so much, I think the reason why I had so much uh, ability to bully is because I got bullied so much in elementary, I knew, you know, all about bullying. I knew, you know, I'm bigger than this person. I can bully the crap out of him and he won't be afraid. The teacher's not going to say anything so I can bully him. And so that's what happened is if the teacher catches this kid in, in, in elementary that's bullying this other kid, mm -hmm. eventually, hopefully, once he gets in uh, middle school, he won't do like I did in seventh grade and start bullying bullying other people. Right, and you know the one time I you know I was in grade seven. Here it's backwards. You you people are like seventh grade here it's grade seven. No difference. Uh, such thing, grade but. grade eight, grade grade ten, yeah. grade eleven. Yeah. yeah, but anyways, you know, so I was there, and the one time you know I thought okay we'll go talk to the teacher see if he can help us right. And I did it, you know, a little talking to him. And nothing fucking changed. So, you know, after that, I said, fuck this. I got no faith in these people when it comes to helping me. Wow. <laughs> take, take matters in your own hands when it comes to that. This guy wasn't, you know, you know, it wasn't necessarily that he was harming anyone. It was just, you know, he just didn't want him around us. And, and um, you know, the, the teacher doesn't do anything. Even if the, the kid is harming you, what's, what's the teacher going to do? Don't yeah. do that again, mister. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. You're gonna get a little piece of paper, a note home that you can yeah, just or, or you might get a an out of school suspension, like those na like those. Oh kids. man, that way I can stay home and watch cartoons all day. Cool. I'd be like no, no, no. Like I'll go watch some video games instead of. Yeah. Like, I should beat the stun on people more often. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's uh, a flaw in the education system. And you know, even when they do you, do give you those, you know, in the school suspensions, and, you know, you get to sit in the room all fucking day. Um, oh wow, yay! I don't yeah. get you know. I got to stare at a wall all day. Yeah, that's nice. Hmm. Now, I'm really learning my lesson there. It, it's, like, it's like jail. Like You send them to go with a bunch of criminals, and yep. did they learn? No, they learned how to be better criminals. <laughs> and you know, some, okay. people, some people, they do learn from those experiences. And yep. Some people have the parents that will say, hey, you know what? You, they need to discipline you. Some people have those parents. A lot of people don't. Yep. You know, and they're like, yeah, fuck it. Do whatever you want. So it's... You know, they they teach you not my, to defend my, yourself at school. My uh, my ideology ideology on that is get homeschooled mm -hmm. because most of the shit you learn in high school and middle school and elementary school, I'd say about a good seventy eighty percent of it you won't need in real life. Oh yeah, I don't know where my math book is right now, but I, I finished. <laughs> but you know, it, it, I just you know finished the grade ten math. And, you know, it is, like, what the fuck are they teaching any of it? <laughs> you know, book full of, you know, bullshit that no one gives a damn about. However, I would say this. You would need it if you, say, you want to be a fucking chemical scientist type fucking, you know, nuclear mm -hmm. scientist or whatever. Yeah, then you're going to need your education. But if you want to survive and have a regular day-to-day -day job or, you know, be a, be a work at Walmart distribution or be a cashier. Or be a journalist like us. Or be a journalist, yeah, be a journalist, be a news reporter, something like that. Yeah. No. I mean, look at today. We got YouTube. All you need is a damn camera and, and the courage to, to speak out about stuff. Mm -hmm. That's all you need. And <laughs> you can make millions. And, and, you know, the one thing I found is, you know, they gave us this book. It was nice all throughout the years. They gave us a workbook that we just wrote shit in, right? Yeah. And it was all fine and dandy. Then it came time to study for the test, right? And, yep. um... And then I realized the fucking book didn't have an index. <laughs> what the hell? I was so fucking pissed off with the thing. <laughs> oh, dude. What type of it book not, was it? It had a what table of it? contents, but no index. Like, no index? What the fuck kind of book is... And in the front, there's like, we spent so long making this such a great resource. Like, fuck you, you Oh, that were the index pages, man. <laughs> and, you know, in these tests, you know, they, you know, like, they put you in a room with a bunch of people, and like, don't cheat now. You know, like... I'll just go to the back of the book. Outside of school, that's called collaboration. And, you know, yeah. it's not just, they expect you to hand in your phone. Fuck you, I ain't handing in my phone. But <laughs> <laughs> oh, I was just answering my mom. Yeah, like, you know, of course, I was going to make you wrong. But this year, you know, this first year of high school, I guess people people took that a little more seriously. Cause I didn't hear any phones ring. <laughs> oh, that's good. <laughs> vibrate, though, vibrate. Yeah, exactly, yeah. You know, of course, I had mine in my pocket. But if any teacher asked me... I left it at home today. Oh, I don't have my phone today. Yep, totally forgot <laughs> it. But the next yeah. day, the other days, I'm going to have it with me all at all times. Yeah, I left it at home today. Yeah. Or, or, or uh, I don't have a phone. <laughs> <laughs> but, but um, you know, the schools just teach you to lie down and take it. Like, oh, yeah. That, obey, lie down and take what, what, what life skills do they bother teaching anyone in school? You know, other than, you know, like, sure, they got cooking class some of the schools, but, you know, but, you know, that, that's at least a skill. But, um, 
generally a lot of it, you know, the stuff that you're required to take, um, it's not teaching us any life skills, you know, most of it. Like math, yeah, some of it, you know, basic math, we need that. You'd be an idiot to say we don't need to know how to add stuff together. <laughs> basic math is, is, you know, you need, that's necessary. Yeah. Fractions, division, multiplication, subtraction. Yeah, unless you're in some screwed up education system. Yeah, Thankfully, yeah. I think I missed this, but now I'm going to teach them like five different ways. Like the same thing, like five plus five equals ten, right? But no, let's show them ten different ways to get ten. Yeah, ge geometry, trigonometry, you don't need, and, and calculus, you don't need in daily life. Mm -hmm. Algebra, sometimes. Yeah, sometimes, yeah. Yeah, sometimes. You know, like, um, you know when you're at the store, you know, you got to make sure you're not getting shortchanged if you can't. And I think this happened to me at some grocery store a while back. I was just in a rush. I didn't count, <laughs> didn't count the change, and I shoved it in my pocket, and I realized that wasn't the amount I was supposed to get. I couldn't prove it, but <laughs> but you know, you need those life skills. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, so how about we wrap up here? So uh, any any last words? Any last words on all the articles? Um, for wrap don't up. Don't lie down and take it. <laughs> no, yeah, don't lie down and take it. Um, and final words for me is disobey, not obey, guys. Mm -hmm. All right, thank you guys for watching. Um, once again, I am Jason Gray, the owner awesome. of News yes. in General. Yep, and of course, um, yeah, I'm the yeah, I'm the co-owner of News in General. Yeah, co-owner and writer. Yeah, you can you, know, you can follow me on Twitter at ck270. Of course, you can follow us at News in General yep. for all of our okay. articles and updates and stuff like that. And I think that's about it for this broadcast. And we'll see you sometime soon. Sometime soon, yeah. Um, we will definitely post all the information on our Facebook. That's where you can find out and keep the conversation going is our Facebook, guys. So news in ge or Facebook.com slash News in General and on Twitter at News in General. Peace out, guys. Thank you for watching. Adios, Sammy. With, uh, you sure about that Clive and Bundy? Oh, God. Oh, that's all I've been hearing is Clive and Bundy. I, I'm, yes, I'm so supportive of them. Great job. They took their freedoms back. They told... The uh the what is it BML what's up they they said get the hell out of here you know this is our land you know they didn't they didn't pay for this they didn't it's not in their family because that land was actually in their family you know it, it right. got you know passed on and and so forth but the government's trying to take it over the BML or whatever whatever BLM. I think, yeah B, BLM Bureau of Land Management yep they're trying to take it over and, and put all these uh what is it, solar panels up and stuff and oh yeah for the Chinese yeah 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 oh yeah the the yeah. Get hand hand in what is it hand in glove or whatever he said Alex yeah. Jones. It, oh, and yeah. I was, it was great that that happened. You know what it reminds reminds me of? Something that, that happened in Canada about a year ago in Ontario. Mm -hmm. This uh, old guy, right? Yeah. He had this farm or whatever. It's been in his family for many generations, given to him by some king. You know, back wow. in a long time, uh, way uh, way back, right? Yeah. And the, um, you know, the Canadian military decides we want to expand our military base, so we're taking your land now. And they literally did that, too. They offered him some money, first of all. He said no, so they just took his land anyways, put up a bunch of fences, and he actually had to get permission every time he wanted to enter and leave his own property. <laughs> That's frigged up, man. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry. You, you, the same other official word, stuff you'd see at a military base. They had gates and set up. They had some, so you know, guards and all, oh, you know, official government signs. Don't, know, let a, don't let Alex Jones hear about this now. <laughs> and he, he tried to fight it for a while, Yeah. but uh, unfortunately he just gave in, you know. He said, fine, take my land. You know, it's only been in the family for, you know, a couple hundred years. Yeah, of course. Go ahead and do what you want. Bugs come down. All right, so it looks like we got somebody in the in the uh, Google, the Q&A here. All it says is Tudas. So here's my um, email that I, I wrote to them. Okay, go ahead and read it's off kind the... kind of a quick, uh, quick, quickly done thing, but anyways. <laughs> um, does Health Canada have any standards in place concerning 4-ML, which is the chemical and syrup and stuff that's giving us cancer, apparently? It's commonly found in products such as pancakes, syrup, soft drinks, and various other food products, and various reports have found it to cause cancer in humans, and then I put a link to a Consumer Reports article. Um, does Health Canada regulate 4-ML in any way? Hang on a second. Yeah, go ahead. Hang on a second. That's right. Uh, so it looks like Cole has somebody calling him. I believe it's his father. Um, so yeah. Back. Oh, okay. Yep. Uh, so while we wait, basically I'm gonna go over the topics. That way you guys can get in here because I'm not sure how many viewers we got right now. Okay, we got two viewers. So the topics that we're gonna be discussing as we wait for Cole is concealed and carry in the United States. Um, teacher fired after ordering six students to uh, beat another student. Now that is insane and killing me. 
or or hurting me worse than what I what I hurt you basically is what I'm trying to say there. Yeah, what you're saying is the only one that would make that would do that is an idiot. Yeah, exactly. And there, there's well, sad to say, there is a lot of idiots out there in today's <laughs> world. Um, I already know what you are going to say about this idea, but this is just my opinion. Like I said, remember, I have seen both the good and bad of what guns are capable of. Most people today don't realize the true dangers and power of guns because they have never seen what a gun can do to a human body or animal in real life. It is pretty crazy to think that one small thing can be so devastating, but that can be said for hundreds if not thousands of things. Remember, we live in a world that is full of dangers, some more dangerous than others. Here is one problem I like to address. A gun can't be fired unless a human fires it, or if it has a malfunction. In most cases, a gun that is being fired is under the control of a person. So in my opinion, when a person is shot by another person, it is not the gun that is doing the killing. It's the person who discharged the weapon. Look at, it, look at it this way. <clears throat> when, when a batter at the plate of a baseball game swings his bat and hits a home run, who is responsible for that home run? The person swinging the bat, right? I mean, a bat can't... Oh, no, the baseball bat. bat. <laughs> yeah, a, a bat can't hit a home run on itself, right? So that goes to say a gun can't shoot a person by itself either. Um... There are cases where carrying a weapon should not be allowed. For example, someone that has a mental disability or has a history of violence. I'm not saying that if you punch that bully in high school, you shouldn't be able to carry a weapon in the future. I am saying if you beat your wife or girlfriend or have a history of abuse and unnecessary violence, then that is when you shouldn't be allowed to carry a weapon. Someone that is candidate for a conceal and carry or even open carry is someone that is responsible has no history of abuse or unnecessary continuous violence, does not suffer from mental or emotional disabilities, and finally, someone that is not afraid of handling a weapon. In some cases, a person that is afraid of handling a gun can be more dangerous than someone that is comfortable with handling a gun. But uh, finally, one big problem with gun control is that our government is in control of who gets to have a weapon and who doesn't. Sounds like a good strategy on the government's part, especially if said government is looking to enslave the citizens. So all in all, the more experience a person has with handling a gun, the safer we will be. I feel that today's laws against bearing arms should be looked over by someone that has experience in a situation when a gun was both a good and bad thing. Someone not in the government, however. I do know some cops that are pro-guns or pro-gun and would be best buds with an open carry civilian. Um, so I just go on to uh, you know end end the uh, end the paragraph. I end it with a uh, I am pro-gun. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. Like, you know, I, so, I think they did an okay job with everything else. And you yeah. know, in terms of saying you know, you know how they do that stupid fluoride treatment where they you know, yeah. put stuff in your teeth and yeah. you know I said you know what and, you know they say I said you know I don't want to do that and, and they were actually very accepting of that. But, wow, that's... <laughs> so that, I think it's a little more common. Is there is, it's the first thing I said is, yeah, that's fine. You know, people are really starting to, you know, learn more about this stuff. <laughs> well, that's, then, well, that's the thing, Cole. You said that the doctors, the, the, the dentists, didn't even know where it came from, right? Right, right. They, so, they had no idea. And you, you, and we live, I don't really don't yeah, matter. Yeah, we're live, yeah. Perfect. Anyways. <laughs> Go ahead and, and keep talking. <laughs> and, um, you know... So they didn't do a job of everything else, and I was surprised they said no, but said it was okay. But mm -hmm. with the questions I was asking, you know, they they definitely like their fluoride, and you know they preach it like it's the best stuff that's ever existed. <laughs> you know, like how did in uh, of course, yeah, they 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 push that stuff, and then well, of course I, all the stuff they is, give you packed full of fluoride. Yeah, the thing is, Cole, I wonder if they take it themselves. I wonder they if they claim do. they do, but yeah. They, they, oh, yeah, we take that stuff. It's good for you, guys. You know, get brainwashed with all that uh, fluoride and that Prozac or whatever that type of uh, yeah, yeah. brain-controlling crap that they put in there. I forget the name of it. Was it aspartame or is that in water? Yeah, aspartame is what's in, like, Diet Coke and stuff. Oh, Diet Coke. Okay, then I, I like forget I forget what they put in. Yeah, some other, some other uh, chemical that they put in uh, the water, the fluoride, to uh, make you go... Wonky, I guess. <laughs> the best way I can describe it. There's a number of chemicals that are banned everywhere, but you know where we live. <laughs> oh, so, <laughs> North so, America. Wait, wait. But fluoride's not. Yeah, there's a lot of chemicals that are in like different, like over in England and over in other countries. There's a lot of chemicals that are not allowed to be put in food, but here in America, they're like wide open to all the chemicals and stuff. Yeah, go ahead, flood oh, them. Until forward. I should mention. Yeah, uh, go ahead. That's your article I did. Yes, um, we're gonna talk about that. I don't know if you've seen, but did, did you see the part where I said I, I contacted Health Canada in an email? 
Oh, I did not. Which is basically our version, our version of the yeah FDA. Yeah. And the only part. response I got from them was they were forwarding my email to a different department for an actual response. Two weeks later, I still haven't seen that response. Yeah, that's, that's typical. That's typical. I mean, you probably wouldn't even hear from them if it was yeah. down here, you know. They just said yeah. we're going to send it off to a different department. Two weeks later, I still haven't heard from them. So wow, it so that shows their pri priorities. You know, you know, I'll, I'll read the email off to you. I guess I should have. Yeah, yeah. And of course, I used my uh, use in general email, in just, general email? Just, so they know. just so they know. Yeah. Um, uh, I hear I hear that they're getting ready to like ban or put like uh, uh, blocks on media and like news news organizations and stuff. Is that true or is that just like? Oh, a I can imagine. So look what happened in uh, Nevada there. Right? In your should have been capitalized. Okay. Yeah. And there should have been a period at the end of stupid. Okay. Oh, oh wait, what's this? Stupidity. No, 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 no. There's another. <laughs> there's another question here. I believe it's Spanish. Uh, Estamos en la terra. I don't have that. I just got another one here. Stupid isn't spelt with 30 different U's, idiot. <laughs> oh, yeah, there you go. There you go, my friend. He's... I want to go ahead and ban his butt. Yeah. Yeah. Delete his question, too. Yeah, I, I think I did, yeah. No, I did that, too, just in case. Anyways. <laughs> double double spam and double ban. All right, so uh, what do you want to dig into? Let's dig oh, into... Let's uh, dig into your article. My article? All right. Yeah, you haven't... haven't uh, got this. Do I got it up? Uh, yes, I do. All right. Gun control, conceal and carry, the good versus the bad. Now, I'm going to tell you a little personal story in this article as well, so bear with me. In my life, I have been in a position where a gun would have protected me and my family. However, if I did not have a gun and use it to defend me or my family... Uh, oh, wait, wait. I totally messed up that beginning. Uh, sorry about that. In my life, I have been in a position where a gun would have protected me and my family. However, if I did have a gun. Wait, that doesn't make no sense, does it, Cole? Um, let me take a look there. I'm trying to stop. Yeah, I, I, believe I, I believe I screwed the beginning up on this. Uh, let me read it off. In yeah. my life, I have been in a position where a gun would have protected me and my family. However, if I did have a gun and used it to defend me or my family... Oh, okay. period, I, skipped, uh, I skipped. I skipped. <laughs> I skipped. A, uh, I skipped the sentence there. Okay, I most likely would be in jail right now. I admit I'm happy that people are speaking out about our rights to bear arms. I just wish they would have done it sooner. Many lives could have been saved. I do, however, have a good and bad experience with guns, the bad being a family member's suicide by 12-gauge shotgun. However, that does not mean I am against guns just because of that bad experience. But that's what it seems is happening nowadays. When one bad thing happen, happens involving guns, then all guns, no matter the situation, are bad, even if it could save a life. I'd like to make it clear to you that I am not a violent person, as probably many people would, would, uh, would say on the internet. I am just a man who feels that if all men are equal, then nobody would be able to get the best of one another, because they all have a fighting chance. When it comes to conceal and carry of a pistol, I am okay with that. In fact, I feel that carrying in the open would be a better idea, because when another man sees another man that has the same capability that he does, he wouldn't try to challenge him on har or harm him because of the risk of being harmed just as bad or, if not worse. Um, so basically what I mean there is, okay, I have a gun, Cole has a gun, you know, do, do you think I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't shoot you because I'd be afraid of missing you or I'd be afraid of you shooting me? Guys, I have a lot to say on that because I do have someone that's a contact of mine that is going through something with their schooling system. Um, as I said, gun control... Uh, Conceal and carry, the good versus the bad. Um, police shoot and kill a man for holding water hose nozzle, and the family was awarded 6.5 million because they took him to they took the uh, the law enforcement, I guess, or the the, the sheriff's department to uh, to court and won. So that is good on their part. But yet they have a family member that is dead. Um, so we're going to be talking about that. That was a written by Cole Cooper. You can find all these articles on newsingeneral.com, all one word, newsingeneral.com. And I believe we're going to be taking a look at some more articles later on in the show if we do have time. Um, I am kind of, uh, i got a time limit here because I have some other things to take care of, um, a lot of editing to do and stuff like that. So I'm not going to go into that. Um, but some of the other topics we might dig into is uh, surgeon accused of slapping patients on the buttocks before surgery which is completely ridiculous. Um, another article by Cole Cooper here on newsandjournal.com. According to a new report, pancake syrup contains a cancer-causing chemical. 
And yes, that is fact, guys. Um, we're going to be taking a look at that, hopefully. Um, and let's see if we got any more articles to take a look at. Uh, no, we don't. I believe there's no more articles that we're going to take a look at. Uh, how, how's it going, Cole? Good. Okay, I want to finish my email here. Yes, definitely. Go ahead. Uh, so where was I? All right. Does Health Canada regulate formal in any way? Does Health Canada have any regulations in place to limit the amount of... These are the questions I'm asking them. Uh, yeah. Amount of formal contained in food products, unlike the FDA in, uni in the United States. Does Health Canada consider Formel to be a human carcinogen like many others do? Are there any regulations in place that require companies to label their products if they contain Formel or the caramel color that contains Formel? Yep. Health Canada does not have any regulations in place concerning Formel and food products. Does Health Canada have any plans to put forth any new regulations concerning the chemical? Oh. Any details clarifying the questions above would be greatly appreciated. Yep. And the only response I got was a wonderful... Um, thank you for contacting Health Canada. Your recent inquiry has been redirected to the appropriate area for a response. Sincerely, Health Canada. And we will not respond to you for about two years. <laughs> yeah, that came in That's on April. And that email came in on April seventh. It's, uh, it, it's so April eighteenth. April eighteenth. Yeah. Wow. Uh, okay. It looks like we got some trolls in the Q and A. Ooh, I gotta uh, see this. Some fun one. Yeah. Well, one, one way to get banned is by doing what you're doing, my friend. Uh, you're stupid. I guess you are, too. That, that's, that's a, that's a uh, good statement there. That's not a question. The Q&A app is a question <laughs> and answers at, uh, ability yeah. only. And, and, and by the way, if you want to make a statement, first of all, the, the why.